cricket's always vital. Last game was a very close one. Uh, of course, uh, the rain intervening. Uh, you lost the game because of uh, Lagwad Lewis, but a very close one. Yeah, I think we started well in both uh, power plays, but it's just kind of being good for longer. If we can do that, I think we'll be a lot closer and hopefully get a win. Uh, any learnings from the last game? Anything you'd like to improve as a side? Uh, I think maybe that middle with the bat. Um, I think we could have been a bit better, a bit smarter. Um, they've obviously got good bowlers in that middle order, middle overs, but if we can play those guys a bit better, I think we'll we'll have a better total on the board. Any changes in playing 11 for the last game? No, same 11. All the best. <laughs> so, Newsman's centre is Afghanistan. They won the toss. They got a bat first. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you very much. The breeze is blowing across the ground. It could be breezy start. Afghanistan, Hazardullah Jazai and... And uh, they got uh, Ramanullah Gurbaz to open the betting as good Afghan. Plenty of all rounders, five of them playing in today's encounter. So expect a lot of runs, plenty of runs on this excellent surface. The weather is absolutely fantastic for Ireland, making no change. The same sweat playing. They started well in the betting department, but they will have to start well in the bowling department to contain Afghanistan below 200 to stand any chance of registering a win on this surface. The amount of experience that they possess. Fantastic conditions, excellent service to bet on. We are in for some entertainment in the betting department, that's for sure. The bowlers, they will have to work really, really hard. In the commentary box, I'm Devendra, with me is Mikhail Vaswani. Should be a magnificent day for betting today. Oh yes, and a very good toss to win as well for Afghanistan. Thank you, Devendra. Very good afternoon to everybody for this live and exclusive coverage. And all eyes will be on this man, Hazratullah Zazai. He can be a one-man army on his day. We've seen him in the past. A career best of 162. And look at that uh, conversion rate of his as well. He started off really well in his career. And giving him company alongside is Ramanullah Gurbaz, who is just 18 years old, but he packs a punch. And uh, in the last game as well, he looked very good. 79 best, 255 runs in his nine games. So he looks good as an opener as well. Interestingly, we have uh, Paul Sterling who will be opening the bowling. In the last game, it was Simi Singh, but this time Paul Sterling. So they're sticking with that combination of opening with spinners against... Uh, the Afghanistan players and uh, this is not a bad move because in the last game we saw Simi Singh making an early impact as well and taking early wickets. It will be interesting how Hazratullah Jazai approaches this innings against West Indies. He played differently. Normally he's famous for uh, striking from the bold one but he took time against the spin bowlers and that's something that they've been trying. The ball going away from the uh, from the left hand batsman. Should be thinking about having a slip in position also. Here's the first ball. Ball straight up. A defensive approach straight away from uh, Zazai. Oh, yes, they have a long ball nice. and uh, a deep mid wicket placed for that big heave that Zazai fashions most of the times. Tucks away on the onside. That's something that he should be doing, feeding a strike to right and batsman against the off spinner. This should be an intriguing contest because Gurbaz likes to hit shots straight away. Oh yes, but a lot of runs beckon on this particular pitch and ground because if you look at the outfield as well, Devendra, it's not heavy like the first T20 international. It looks very fast this time around and if the Afghanistan openers can get underneath that ball, we could expect a run fest, let me tell you. Fireworks all the way. But good to see that they are playing sensible cricket. They are looking for singles as well. So long on, men at the mid-wicket position who is very, very square there on the boundary ropes. Gurbaz drives it down the ground. It's a lovely strike from him. He also opens his account. So there is intent from Gurbaz straight away. Oh yes, Andy Balburn, he will not be unhappy at all with this kind of start. Cricket charts are there for you, famous for carrying the flag, the flag bearer of Afghanistan cricket. Good crowd turnout this afternoon. A firm drive. No other team in the world enjoys the kind of support that Afghanistan enjoys. Heart to heart connections they play, they interact with the fans, they travel all the way to different countries to witness their side play. And this has been a, a remarkable rise of Afghanistan cricket in the last 10 years or so. Works through the onside. Is he thinking about coming back for the second with his improved fitness? Don't think so. So now they're relying on the singles trying to get themselves in. Oh yes, and what's good to see with Paul Sterling is he's having that sling kind of an action where he's not giving the ball flight. So it's flatter, quicker and just keeping it straighter. You don't want to experiment in the power plays. It's a good start so far. You just expect one of the opening batsmen here to just fancy some shots as well sooner or later. Boundary from this over or not. 
Goes for the sweep shot, big appeal, but not given. That marks the end of the over and a fantastic first over from Paul Sterling. It's 3 for no wicket, Afghanistan. Unchanged sides of both the teams and Afghanistan continuing with the winning side of theirs. Zazai opening with Gurbaz and a lot of batting to come and a lot of utility players just adds a lot of muscle and depth to the side. You can expect them to really play a free brand of cricket at the moment and a fearless brand which they always adopt. They won the toss early this uh, morning and uh, decided to bat first. So last ball of the first over. Paul Sterling from the wide of Crete. Oh, that was that was quite close. Was it drifting? Oh, yeah, yeah, Nicely bowled once again, just keeping it very close to the body there. This has been the highlight so far this morning for Ireland. They have not offered any wet, kept things very tight. That's something they were talking about in the previous match. They provided width to the batsmen and that's where they capitalized. But today it's, 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 it's different. Uh, bowling within these terms and also experimenting with the bowling option. Also, Paul Sterling opening. And now, Boyd Renkin with plenty of experience of playing uh, all formats of the game. Played for uh, England also in a, in a Sydney New Year's Sydney Test match in the S's. to defend, wants to run here. Circumspect start from Afghanistan. And you've got to give credit to the island bowlers as well for simply sticking to a plan. Boyd Rankin, a lot of experience and good economy as well. Under 7 in T20 cricket is a chest of gold. A best for 3 for 16. This is his 50th game. So an achievement for him. And he'll be eager to make this count as well for his side. Oh, swing and miss. That wasn't the quick delivery. He's taking the pace of the ball. A typical Afghan swing. And this is where the character and resolve of these batsmen will be tested. They went there. You know, things are not going their way. How will they change strategy? How will they adopt? Now, this looked a very reckless shot, let me tell you. No way close to the ball and going for that cross batted heave. The off cut up changing the pace, not changing the length on that occasion. The line was, was quite, quite where he wants to operate, changing the length, saw the batsman trying to do something different. They, they dropped the fieldsman on the boundary ropes at the long on region on the on side. So square leg on the boundary, long on on the boundary. Likes to play the sweep shot against the fast bowlers also. Fine leg up in the circle. Now they wa want a little bit of shuffle in the field. So mid on inside the circle, they're sending the fieldsman at the mid wicket around uh, 10 or 15 yards inside the boundary ropes on the onside. And not a good delivery once on hesitation once again. Very good bowling here once again. Just bowling at back of the length, keeping the batsman guessing. You just get the impression Gurbaz is on the lookout for runs. And take a look at that once again. Just keeping it back of the length. And keeping the batsman tentative. And that's what you need to do as bowlers. And nicely backed up by his boys around the 30-yard circle. Chris releasing shot. Where is that? Oh, works to the onside. He's going to take a single. Bit of fumble there from the fieldsman. Still waiting for the boundary option. They haven't got many opportunities so far in this innings. And you just get the impression that uh, Boyd Ranking is just trying to take the pace of the ball as well as much as he can. You just want to slow the pace of the game early on. Because remember, in T20 cricket, your start more often than not decides your end and that's why after winning the toss Afghanistan will be hoping that they strike gold early on now the deep mid wicket coming inside the circle men going on the boundary ropes at the fine leg regions so square leg and fi fine leg on the boundary ropes two fieldsmen and uh, slightly coming at the square position on the onside Once run, quick run. Saw the field spin the station at the edge of the 30 yard circle, so it's a step and run. Two overs gone. Fantastic start in the bowling department on this super sporting Sunday for Ireland. Afghanistan, six for no wicket.
Very nice here, lads. Very nice. Head start, lads. So uh, Simi Singh is going to be key man and all-rounder who picked up two wickets from the first match. Dismissing both the oh. Oscars, Logan is there. Appeal for LBW straight away in the channel. Just get the impression, nice Paul Burney just he wants six up. different bowlers starting first up. That could be quite adventurous as a prediction right now. But good to see that he's not allowing the batsmen to adjust to the bowlers. Just keeping them guessing. Simi. He's going to take a run here. He's he he coming back for the second, no settling for a single. And this theory was uh, utilized really well by Shane Warne in the first edition of the IPL for yeah, Rajasthan right. Royals using six different bowlers in the power play yeah. overs, not uh, giving on, them the opportunity to get used to the bowlers and pace of the bowlers like and the this. variations that they offer. Three for 15 is best for Simi Singh. In Dehradun, he played go, a boys. significant role for his team in 2019. What? Not finding the gaps. Right and yes, this is going to play up on the minds of the batsmen as well. This is very good cricket by Ireland. Put into field, they've made it count, not even a boundary after 15 deliveries. Boundary option, maybe over extra cover. So hits through the onside, has he, has oh, he got guys, enough go, uh, power behind the shot, Paul Sterling for the fieldsman there on the boundary ropes, he does well to stop that one. It's a good fielding, good attempt from distance. Very good effect, very good uh, fielding effort there, that was flicked off the pads towards deep square leg. Same guy work. Josh Little, the fielder there, very nice diving attempt to curtail it to only two. Where is the boundary? Oh, not quite getting the timing right. It's squeezing on the pressure is on Afghanistan. A lot of expectation of starting. Starting and starting well with plenty of boundaries. But we are into the third over. One delivery to be bowled in this over. We haven't seen a boundary so far. A lot of chopping and changing in the field also. Now two fieldsmen on the onside at mid wicket and long on for left handed batsman Jazai. 6 4. Not quite. Another magnificent over from Simi Singh. So three overs bowled here in Greater Noida. Afghanistan winning the toss and betting first are none for 11. After three overs, only 11 runs here for Afghanistan. This after they won the toss and decided to bat first. If you take a look at the batsmen, both of them together have consumed 18 deliveries and have only managed. And that strike rate of theirs will be really bothering them. And as we just thought, another bowling change here. And it's Joshua Little who will be bowling the fourth over. Interesting captaincy here. Great delivery again. And they bowled really well against West Indies in that, uh, that famous victory in T20 recently in West Indies well in those crucial overs against Pollard and company look at this one the lines not giving any width this is line and length and this is what you call discipline in your bowling attack and all the bowlers so far have put up a very good show just get the impression the pressure will be mounting on the openers someone will need to cut loose as well Zazai takes charge he lifts it over on travel to the boundary, couple of runs on offer. Opportunity was there, it was a slow delivery on the leg stump. With fine leg up in the circle, square leg up in the circle, he missed out on that one to release the pressure. And you just get the impression the ball's not coming onto the bat as well that easily as it did in the first T20. And that's why the batsmen also are struggling to find the middle of the bat. Once again, play a little earlier, getting the edge. Very good delivery once again. Chance for run out at the non strike end. The throw is wayward. Absolute pandemonium in the middle. Zazai refused to move. And Gurbaz had backed up way too much. Lucky to survive there. Shy of the stumps. Just take a look at that. 
It's behind the stumps. It's a non-striker's call. Zazai did not respond. They in came the throw. Oh, that was a corner. Had it hit the stumps. Pressure, more pressure. A little conference between Gurbaz and Hazratullah Zazai. They need to find a boundary. We are into the fourth over. This is not familiar with Afghanistan cricket. Not finding boundaries in the first four overs or so. Again, very good delivery. Not giving any width. This is good bowling, good discipline from Iris Bowlers. Joshua Little is offering very little, let me tell you, at the moment. Miserly bowling, as you would call it, once again, just back of the length, cramping him for space. And it's not the usual Zazai we've seen in the past, who just makes room with his leg and opens that vacant area to go over mid-wicket. You just get the impression he's also a little circumspect today, not able to read the pitch conditions. Got uh, third man finally up in the circle, is curling up in the circle, mid wicket on the boundary, long one on the boundary. Mid off is going slightly wider. Swings and swings it really well. Pressure releasing shot coming from Jazai's blade. Oh, yes, breaks the shackles over there, much needed for. And that was a very poor delivery as well, just bowling it to his strength. Remember, he's an on site player, and anything on middle and leg will be punished. Zazai there, chest hitting in that vacant area, hitting it really hard. Gets that much needed for their first four coming in the fourth over. The field remains the same. Zazai is on to 11, getting the first boundary of 14. Gurbaz also circumspect 5 of 9. This has been a sedate start for Afghanistan in the betting department. The bowling has been very good, barring the delivery on the leg stump. Slower delivery, he hits it through the onside. Has he found the gap? Two fieldsmen on the boundary ropes. Again, not so good running. The communication is not working, and neither the stroke making. Four overs gone, it's 18 for no wicket, Afghanistan. Going to be the off spinner once again. They haven't got too many runs so far. Of course, the last over managing a four. Just see the current run rate hovering around up four and a half. They have to get on with things. Uh, the first six hey, overs listen. always very important. The power play overs. And with me is uh, Hamid Hassan. Now, Guys. welcome to you. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Yes, first six over always very important if you're batting or bowling. But right now, Ireland is on the top. Afghanistan win the toss. This time goes big, really big. What a shot from Rahmanullah Gurbaz. Clear the boundary this time in a maximum. The pressure was building, but this boundary made me re uh, relieve some pressure from him and also from Hazrat. So some good runs for Afghanistan in scorecard. The wicket is not that much bad, but the way they started was very slow, but now they're looking for some boundaries. Oh, yes, that was really clobbered. Uh, that was a lovely strike. The first six up uh, of this innings, going the distance, uh, going a long, long way. They need a few runs. You just mentioned that the current run rate is moving up a bit. Almost uh, hovering around six. You all know what Zizai can do. He's uh, a fantastic stroke player, but today he's taking a bit of time. Oh! Good delivery, good delivery. Just uh, showing his bat there, Zizai, to the Empire. Although Empire saying it was a leg by, just showing that bat to the uh, Empire as we're taking that run to see what happened, what transpired on that occasion. Yes, uh, hitting the pad, he was showing that bat there. Usually batsmen do. They must be scared of to not give him leg before. Well, it's so again. again, a little bit short of delivery, but I have to say, a good captaincy from Balberni. He uses bowlers really well. Four different bowlers so far. And this is second over of Simi Singh.
Wenger for the big one on the onside. Out, 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 out. That's the last delivery. It will settle for one. End of the fifth over. 29 without loss of Afghanistan. With me is Hamid Hassan, uh, the fast bowler of Afghanistan. Change right from over. 29 without loss after 5 overs. 14 for Zai Gurbaz on 13 of 12. Najibullah opened a fantastic innings the last game. Azgar Afghan, the skipper, Shinwari, they still have a lot of batting left. The only problem for Ireland is uh, they haven't got a wicket so far. They bowl well, they bowl tightly. But also important is how do you pick up those wickets? And with me is uh, Hamid Hassan. Oh, that's Glauber. That's Glauber on the onside. Two fielders in deep. Will be cut off. And missing about wickets, uh, Hamid. Uh, none better than you. You know the importance of picking those early wickets, especially with a new ball. Just create that pressure on the opposition, isn't it? Absolutely, all the time taking early wickets, put pressure on a side. But I'm also satisfied if you're not giving runs more than six per over in T20 cricket, I think it's a uh, not too bad option. But the way they started, uh, Ireland, they bowled really well. They're not giving any chances or not allowing them to get boundaries in fours and sixes. This time wins hard, a big leading edge. Oh, opportunity and drop the catch. That's because of pressure they build on Afghanistan side. They got the opportunity but dropped the catch. Excellent effort from Ireland. That would have been a big, big wicket, isn't it? Big wicket. Not uh, timing it, not connecting it, trying to go over the top, uh, getting both his hands there. Almost uh, getting uh, that wicket, not able to latch on in the end. Running backward, never easy when the ball is drooping over the shoulders. But at this level, those have to be taken. When you're playing international cricket, these catches have to be taken. And that could be a costly miss here for Ireland. Yeah, absolutely, this is one of his weakest areas, Hazrat Zaze. That he loves to play on onside through mid-wicket in square leg. But if he puts the ball above four stump, ahead from him, away from him, it will be a little bit difficult so he can play the shot and there was opportunity and missed by a fielder again similar line in length excellent bowling from wide ranking the most experienced campaigner in the side he played all formats for ireland t20 test match one day and play for england as well in ashes in australia yeah, just because of his height, I think he gives that added bounce ranking and uh, that's really helping him on the surface. When I saw the wicket, Hamid, it looked to be a very good one, a better of a surface. Especially once I was comparing it with the, the first T20, when there was a bit of moisture on the surface. Yes, uh, you see the length that he's bowling. He's just bowling back of length. And that's the reason, because he's not bowling fuller, the, the batsmen are not going over the top. Just see the length there from ranking. that's so very important. Just uh, hitting the deck, using his height, just bowling back of length. Yeah, this is the perfect line I mentioned before because if he ball to Hazrat here, he will not hit the ball. Otherwise, he will be looking just for single or do uh, dot the ball. But credit goes to Boyd Rankin. He's not allowing Hazrat. This time, again, same line, same length, but wind. Make himself a little bit room to clear the mid on and mid off area, but didn't connect it really well. So, end of the over, Afghanistan 34 for uh, six overs gone.
the ICC rankings, uh, Afghanistan at number 7 with the 236 uh, reading points. Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, West Indies uh, below them. So slowly, steadily, uh, Hamid, uh, Afghanistan are moving up the ladder in those ICC rankings. Absolutely, sir. I remember the day uh, we was playing in ICC uh, that... Uh, Divisions. Afghanistan were ranked above 150 some were like 10 12 years before in 2008 9 but right now it's on number seven and top 10 in the world such an amazing journey this time goes huge shot from Hazrat Zazai his favorite area he likes to play here in wonderful six through to mid wicket on his knees Shpagiza. What a shot! Welcome, George. Jump roll to the party. Yeah, as if he was just waiting for that delivery. Just waiting. It's gone into the crowds there. It's a lovely up hill bank out there. Beautiful settings here in Greater Noida. And they're really enjoying it. All the people in here. Oh! Said, hey, not uh, very sure about that one. A bit tentative. We will settle for one. I think they also realize that the power play is over now. They have to, in cash, they have to take opportunities against uh, a particular bowler. And uh, the left-arm spinner could be the one because uh, the ball coming in for uh, the left-hander for uh, when Dockerel is uh, bowling. Just see the field setting. He's got a long on uh, deep cover point as well for the right-hander now, Gurbazan strike. He also has to move on. He loves that sweep shot. Likes to play across the line a few times, Gurbaz. Oh. Yeah, they almost play 38 deliveries in the crease from both of them. And they know the wicket in condition now. And Ireland should be worried in fear because they have a lot of batting, Afghanistan side. Here we go, boys, straight and up again. Uh, these two get clicks in the next three, four hours. It would be very difficult that Ireland can stop the batsmen of Afghanistan. So you can see oh, George, you're looking, you're looking. straight away, George Duckrell. He's trying to away the ball from Hazrat Zaza. It's a wide delivery, very wide. And not much, mu work, well done, not well much movement from Hazrat. You can see his legs stuck oh, in the boys, crease. Stop. He's not moving forward. He's just waiting for the one area. If he tossed up the delivery, he will not stop. Again, good delivery. Yeah, seems to be under pressure, Doctor. When he's bowling against the eye, we saw that wide delivery. He's bowling much flatter as well. He's not giving the ball much air against the eye, particularly. Against Gurbaz, uh, just bowling a bit more uh, tossed up deliveries. Just bowling uh, a bit roundish as well against uh, the left hand batsman. He knows what he can do, his uh, capabilities, as far as his eye is concerned. Coming down the track, uh, running the first one hard. Will he come back for the second? Yes, he does. That's good running. Showing the intensity in running on that occasion. It's a couple of rounds to win the over. 46 for no loss. Five bowlers employed by Ireland. Uh, mentioning about Rankin, uh, he's done a fantastic job. Uh, Simi Singh has been expensive in his couple of overs. Going to be a change in bowling, and the sixth bowler now being introduced. Craig Jung, uh, 29 years old, 25 wickets for him in his T20 career. Four for 13 is best. He caught me up just over eight in the T20 format. So the sixth bowler introduced now the 8th over of the innings. Right on the money. Craig Young. It's not surprising if Baller is giving 8 runs per over nowadays in cricket. It's very quick and very fast. You can see the crowd is building. 
a beautiful Sunday. Afghanistan supporters everywhere. If you go, they play. The people will come and they support. They love always there for Afghanistan. A very good bowler, Skitty Young. So I was mentioning that economy. So slightly field changing for Gurbaz. Excellent line in length. Yeah, I think uh, Craig Young is got to take a leaf out of the book of uh, someone like Ranky, the way he's bold. You see uh, that length as well, just back off length, just opening his bat, trying to use the pace of the bowler. But uh, Paul Sterling, uh, very sharp in that direction at point. Every dot ball will increase their pressure. The good thing for Afghanistan, uh, Hamid, is they, ha they have wickets in hand. All the wickets left in the bank for them. Appealing, appealing, just shuffling. Probably just missing uh, the leg stump on that occasion. Gurbaz wants to go cheeky this time. I think the ball was just slightly going leg side. Yeah, it looks like might be missing leg stump or maybe umpire's call. Yeah, I thought Hamid also the height was a factor, hitting him uh, a bit higher. So as empire, you've got to be very sure to give those. It's a good delivery. Wearing his pace, uh, good over so far. I think uh, Ireland, uh, they've surely done their homework today. I mean, the, the way they are bold, they're bold with a purpose, they're bold with a plan. They've been very impressive on the field so far. Absolutely, the wicket is not that much looking very difficult to me. It's similar, a first T20 match, but the way they bowled, they totally grabbed and stuck Afghanistan batsman from the runs. This time down the leg side. Must be a bye runs. But Afghanistan will be happy to get two runs. So, yeah, so two more runs for Afghanistan. Yes. And as you said, they had a, some good homework to these two batsmen. The only one over of George Dockrell, last one, he gave only 12 runs. The rest of the others, they ball really well. 50 for Afghanistan in the 8th over, 50 for no loss. A conservative start here for Afghanistan, but the good thing is they have 10 wickets in hand. Gurbaz has uh, made up for the balls he's consumed, and Zazai has just begun to tee off. But what's interesting to see is the manner in which Balbani has changed his bowlers and uh, shuffled them out here, and they've done an exceptionally good job. Garrett Delany now introduced into the attack. Uh, early days for him, 16 wickets though, and you get the impression that they're trying to slow down the game because the pitch. The ball is not coming out of the bat. <laughs> Nicely bowled once again, yeah, and lovely, in comes uh, Chaitanya Sant in the com box to give me company. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Mikhail, and good afternoon to everyone uh, watching our uh, live coverage. Also, happy Women's Day to all our uh, female viewers. 50 on the board right now for Afghanistan's uh, considerably slow start. What we expect from this batting order? There we go again. Clearing his arms is uh, Gurbaz. Gets the clearance, gets the six. Mighty stroke by Gurbaz. Oh, yes, a lot of power behind that. It's a very small frame, but he packs a punch, let me tell you. And look at that, he didn't even have a full follow through for that. He just went with arm extension, and that ball sailed into the crowd. Good use of the feet. And they need more of this. They need more of these home runs. 
Just get the impression, uh, Chaitanya, it's time that one of these batsmen take charge in the middle. Uh, absolutely, Mikhail Hill uh, will also make a big boost to his confidence coming down the stroke, uh, coming down the track and uh, getting that absolutely brilliant stroke. Single uh, followed by the sixer. Current run rate at 6.7. The power play overs, they weren't able to capitalize uh, as what they would have expected. Asghar Afghan winning the toss, deciding to bat first. Must have thought of around 175 to 200, somewhere in that range. But the good news is they haven't lost the wicket. They can always capitalize. Catch, catch it! Zazai yeah. and uh, that's a uh, wicket, is it? Yes, it is. Uh, Azratullah Zazai will have to walk back. As we were just mentioning that they haven't lost a wicket. And uh, the big hitter, the danger man, will have to walk back. Big wicket for Afghan for uh, Ireland. Oh, yes, tossed up delivery once again, but no width offered. Just checking a shot in the end, but look at that catch. Look at that attempt. A catch of your own bowling is always a chest of gold here. And uh, the move has worked. Gareth Delany strikes. And Zazai walks back for only 28 of 33, unlike him in his uh, previous games. But this is a big breakthrough and a much needed one for Ireland. Their persistence, their perseverance has really, really paid in over here. They'll be a happy bunch over there. This has been a very good bowling performance so far. Yes. Yes, let's take. Coming in at number three Who is uh, right, the skipper, Asghar Afghan, comes in. And uh, it's a very rarity that we see Hazratullah Zazai getting out at a strike rate of less than 100. Mikhail, big wicket this for Ireland. And full credit we to the Highland Bowlers here, as well. They have really stuck to their job, they've bowled to their fields, and they've really gone as the captain would have wanted them to. Guys, get him! Last more 68 uh, for uh, the Afghanistan skipper. A nice steady start. He'll uh, just need to get a good partnership, but also they need to get scoring. Just take a look at that wicket once again. Just playing in his crease, not using his feet around, cramped for space, and what a catch! What a catch. Single here for uh, Afghan. He's off the mark. Beg your pardon, Gurbaz. Nine overs completed. It's 58 for one. Change left or more. Yeah. Yeah, so with, the, uh, with the use of spinners, uh, they are uh, bowling at a quick rate here. 35 minutes into the play and they've bowled 9 overs. 58 on the board. Asghar Afghan uh, has just come out after the wicket of uh, the opener, the hard hitter, Azratullah Zazai. Let's have a look at that. So many bowlers that have been used. Seven bowlers that have been used, Mikhail. And interestingly, look at the economy rate of most of them. That's been the impressive part about Ireland this morning. They lost the toss, they've asked to field, and they've responded well in conditions that are conducive to batting. Joshua Little, the left arm, um, medium pacer, short ball, flicked away. He'll get a single as uh, Asghar Afghan. Never an easy situation to walk into bat. The runs have dried up. And it's Captain Asghar Afghan who will need to really come out with a plan over here and a strategy. And you also have to look at the manner in which the Irish bowlers have operated. They have bowled nine overs in, in a quick 36 minutes. And that's an impressive bit how fast they've moved ends. Again, taking the pace of the ball, opening the face of the bat. Good feeling there, Paul Sterling. Diving to his right, good to see that, the opener. And uh, restricts uh, the Afghanistan batsman to only a run. Oh, yes, once again, tent tentatively played, and what an effort there by Paul Sterling. Just takes me back to the days of uh, the Sri Lankan team led by Arjuna Ranatunga, where he put up the same kind of dives as well. Oh. 
Short ball pulled away, but uh, fielder has been placed there. Just a run, so the fours, the sixes have been dried up. We've seen uh, Gurbaz uh, playing a big hit. But after the wicket of Hazratullah Zazai, they'll have to be a little cautious here. But uh, 10 overs, 60, they'll, looking, they'll be looking to get to somewhere around 175, 180. Especially after having uh, won the toss and have decided to bat first. Have a look at that crowd there, Afghanistan supporters. We are at uh, the Shahid Vijay Singh Pathik Sports Complex in Greater Noida. Short ball again, pulled away. Straight to the field, uh, that will again be just a run. Just like the way Ireland have played their cricket this morning. Something about their body language, something about uh, the application uh, this morning. Led uh, extremely well by Andy Balburny as well. He's made those bowling changes, kept the batsmen guessing. You've got to give credit and they can't let the start go away. Making room for himself, looking to clear his arms, uh, but not connecting is the Afghanistan skipper Asghar Afghan. Perhaps uh, looking for a change of bat or a change of glove, some indication uh, to the dressing room. Once again, if you take a look at that shot, just get the impression the ball's not coming out of the bat. So something even close to 150, Afghanistan will feel that they've done well. Because batting on this track seems to be a little difficult at the moment. At least it's coming to be at what we see. With an open stance, again expecting the short ball was Gurbaz. Onto the deep mid wicket fielder. Single to end the 10th over. Afghanistan a 64 for 1. First 10 over 7 bowlers have been used by uh, Ireland. Interesting strategy there by Andrew Balbani. Lost the toss, was uh, asked to field. And 7 bowlers used in the first 10 overs. That too in just 40 minutes. Got to start, this is for Ireland. There can be once again, we'll continue. Get Getting the charge this time straight to the fielder at covers. The intention is there by Gurbaz. Delny, the bowler, to get the breakthrough. And uh, his captain will be happy that uh, his boy is doing the job. But at the moment, pressure mounting on Afghanistan. They need to break the shackles. Absolutely, that's the need of the hour now for Afghanistan. They need to get those big hits. Gurbaz will fancy his chances. Got a six against uh, him in the previous over. Comes down the track again. Swing of the bat. Fielder there will watch it sail over him. Big hit once again from the bat of Gurbaz. Much needed for Afghanistan. Ball cast by ball. And much to the delight of his uh, teammates in the dugout as well. Intention is one. Execution is another okay. important aspect. And I just get the impression that Gurbaz is playing some aggressive cricket at the moment. Looking for a quick run, shy at the non-striker's end. Chance for uh, the overthrow denied. Just having a look at that six, he was not up to the pitch of the delivery, but he had decided that he's going to hit it. Let's have a look at that again. Off the back foot. Just to the fielder, good dive. Direct hit might have been a chance, but the throw was nowhere near to the stumps. Making room for himself, cutting it straight to Paul yeah, Sterling. Right Good right. fielding today by Paul Sterling. Right, oh yes, the, the fielding today has, uh, they've raised their standards island. The bowling has been spot on. and That's why they have looked so good so far in the first 11 overs. Same. Short ball off the back foot, tucked away. Again, uh, a run, eight runs in this over so okay. far. Kurbaz is looking good, batting on 33 of 25. One of them will uh, have to play the aggressor role now. And that's why I feel at a fall of a wicket now, they'll need to send somebody like a Mohamed Nabi or someone who's ready to take the attack to the opposition. They'll need to change that batting order right now. Afghanistan, they'll need to think out of the box. Making room for himself. Quicker oh one there by uh, 
Delany looking for the second run. Denied. A single to end the 11th over. Afghanistan are 73 for one. So we're getting a live action from the Shaheed Vijay Singh Pathik Sports Complex in Greater Noida. Good support for uh, Afghanistan cricket. Afghanistan cricket have worldwide support. Let me tell you, the cricketers are much loved. Oh, nicely bowled there. Beating the set batsman. Gurbaz batting on 34. And if uh, he's been beaten there, young, good delivery. Oh, yes. Just rolling his fingers on that, I thought. Or just some deviation off the pitch. Gurbaz just having a good look at the track as well. Just coming back to the fans. Let me tell you, the Afghanistan cricketers are loved worldwide. And they have a strong following. And their fans follow them everywhere as well. Wow. Short ball looking for the pull, but again the ball just staying down. Perhaps a change in pace, or Mikhail, as you mentioned, the fingers being rolled, and thus Gurubas playing uh, the shadow stroke eventually. And this is where you've got to give credit to the Irish bowlers as well. They've realized that the strong side of the Afghanistan batsman has been the onside, and they have uh, tried keeping that length outside off this morning, which is very, very good. Partnership between Asghar Afghan and Gurbaz is uh, a runner ball. 16 of 16 balls. He room for himself down the leg side and white ball is the call. I wouldn't consider that a bad ball. That's because the batsman was giving the charge and he was moving in his crease as well. So it was... The intent was good, just that the execution was a little wayward there. So Young also trying to just play with the batsman's mind. But Gurbaz, I, I quite like his demeanour. A busy cricketer, you know, very feisty customer. Wants to go and give it his best. Again, uh, just a nice sage old tap and run for uh, Gurbaz. Getting the skip of the strike now. He's batting on five of seven deliveries. They'll uh, need to get those big hits now. 11.3 overs, 75 for uh, one. And uh, look at the figures of Young. 1.3 overs, none for three. is considered only three runs in the nine deliveries that he's bowled. It's fabulous bowling by Young so far. Bowl this time once again. Looked as if it was a little slow. Didn't come onto the bat. He played that shot too early. And that's been the problem today with the batsman. They've just not been able to play that free brand of cricket that we thought they would be playing. Dug it in short, came in much slower than the batsman expected. Just got gloves on to the wicketkeeper. Oh uh, yes, a little bit disappointed with that is Asghar Afghan. Have a look at the figures of Young. 1.4 overs, just considered only three runs. In the slot, but again, and not connecting. Straight to the field at deep mid-wicket. Just a run. Disappointment is evident in the face of Azhar Azhar Afghan. Oh, yes, and both the Afghan openers sometimes look very one-dimensional, Chaitanya. They, they look for the onside here. Once again, anything pitched on middle and off also is played towards mid-wicket. And that's why you have a long on, long off. Beg your pardon. A long on, deep mid-wicket and a deep square leg for a pacer. Ball, Yorker there. And chance at the non-striker's non end. Direct hit. Oh, what are they doing? A direct hit would have uh, had Afghan uh, walking back. We'll just have a look. Uh, it's been referred to the, to the TV umpire. And you just wonder what happened in the middle. That looks close. Yes, that's gone. That looks a goner for Gurbaz and he'll have to walk back to the dugout. You don't need this at this point in time. He was the more aggressive, accomplished batsman. Absolute pandemonium in the middle. Yes, no. 
That's been a problem in the morning. Another wicket falls at this juncture. Well, over has gone 76 for two, Afghanistan. Uh, great work done by Ireland so far. Mohamed Nabi uh, promoted up the order. He's a good handy all-rounder for uh, Afghanistan. Very experienced. And mentioning uh, what is experience, over 1,000 runs, 1,316 to be precise. 450s for him in his T20 career. 89 being his best. But they need uh, a few good overs here, yeah, Ahmed. Welcome once again. Uh, thank Keep you, Alisson. Boys. Absolutely, Afghanistan been in trouble. But the good thing is they have wickets in hands. But I have to say, credit goes to Ireland and Ireland bowling side. They stuck Afghanistan batsmen to not allow their their hands and free open their arms to swing in the way they are famous for for long hit and sixes. So excellent captaincy from Balberni. He uses spinners, bowlers really well. And that's why Nabi is here, because of this. Yes, no, yes, no. And then Gurbaz has to depart. Another run out. Yeah, that was uh, a needless run there. Because uh, if you see, Azgar Afghan was running all the way. Gurbaz didn't take a start at all. He was a bit hesitant. And by the hey, time guys. he was uh, running at the non-strikers, then he was very late for that. Things haven't gone Afghanistan way. This afternoon, uh, Asghar Afghan, the captain, wins the toss, batting first. Looks to be a good surface of batting, very conducive. Sun beating out, not much moisture, but credit to Ireland the way they are bold. It's been uh, a really good effort on the field as well. Just one catch drop, that was a tough one at the point area. But apart from that, the ground fielding has been spot on from them. Nicely picked, nicely picked, good timing. That's going to be a four. Much needed boundary here. What a shot from the senior pro, Muhammad Nabi. Let the ball, let the ball come in it to his bat. On his back foot. And clear the oh, mid-wicket area. There was a no-fielder in short mid-wicket. And he find the gaps. And this boundary might be relieved some pressure from the Vanessan batting side. Said it's a good surface for the batting, but Afghanistan okay, need to put order. score above 160, 170, as you mentioned okay, guys. in your thoughts before oh, boys. on pitch report. Yes, I mean, then just the way he played that shot, you can uh, know that the, there is that bounce on the surface. And Got once you're it. able to play score in the wicket, that means uh, there's a true bounce on the surface. So it's full of runs. The ball hasn't really gripped. We haven't seen too many deliveries stopping and coming, which means not much moisture. And uh, the games out here, the T20 games, Ahmed, are starting in the afternoon. It's not the morning games or the evening games. It's a good time to start. Nicely played. It's Apesh, but just falling short of the field. Uh, will be a single uh, to end the over. 13 overs gone, 85 for two. Afghanistan, uh, no, they have to get 10 runs per over to just get to the score of 155, if not more. 12 runs per over means 169. That's uh, the least uh, they'd like to get here on this surface. Ireland, they bat deep. They have the likes of Kevin O'Brien, Paul Sterling, up the order. 
No doubt Afghanistan have a very good, uh, potent bowling attack. But they need runs as well. Something for the bowlers to bowl at. Yeah, they need to put some runs for the bowlers. Otherwise, Ireland batsman can change the score easy. So, Boyd Rankin back to the attack. Excellent bowling according to the field. They're not giving any free runs to Afghanistan batsman. And this one will just reduce his pace. Slow one bouncer. Mazel wants to swing this ball true to mid wicket but couldn't connect it really well. They will have a big role to play. Asghar Afghan, the skipper. Moted up the order. Nabi uh, is looking good touch. The four he got in the last over. Very experienced, very seasoned. That's good batting. Group cricket just uh, rotating the strike. Looking for two, but there was never a second in that. But I have been uh, really tight. The last thing Afghanistan uh, want here is another run out. He's having a chat. Has got have gone with Mohammad Nabi. If you want two in this circle, you need to put Dhoni and Jadeja in, <laughs> in running between the wicket. <laughs> yeah, you're right, absolutely. Both of them very quick. Very quick between the stumps. That's played up ish, but in the gap. Lovely strike there. Lovely strike from the Afghanistan skipper. Maximum. This time as well, Afghan succeed to clear the boundary. And there was a no fielder in the maximum. You can see his position was waiting and waiting. And he connects, connects really well. Excellent batting from skipper. He's taking the charge now. Once again in the gap, he's taking the charge. He changes gears here. Runs are coming thick and fast. Just bowling too short on the occasion. Using a lot of bottom hand has got have gone. Third four in this innings. What a batting. What a shot. You can see the power behind this shot. Absolutely amazing cricket from Azaravan. And now he's looking in great and dangerous mood. You know, what I liked was the bat flow there. Tremendous bat flow from Azgar Afghan. Once again, bowling shot. That's uh, not working here for Ireland. And that's going to be another four. Another four here. Big over coming for Afghanistan. The 100 up for them. 100 and 1 for 2 now. One delivery remaining in this over. What a shot. That's a poor bowling. Slower delivery, very slow in one of his favorite area. And again, same area he targets. And also, poor effort from Kevin O'Brien. You know, Hamid, if I'm the captain, I'll tell him to bowl fuller. Have uh, the middle fielder back. Have a long off in place. There's no point bowling too short on this surface. And Afghan is really enjoying that. Just have the fielder at mid off push back and bowl those fuller length deliveries. You got a deep cover point, push that fielder back. He's bowling too short against Asghar Afghan. Once again, this time just settling for one. Big over, expensive over. Comes to an end, 102 for two Afghanistan. The second 50 for Afghanistan coming in much more quicker time. 36 deliveries as compared to the first one, taking 47. 102 for two Afghanistan. Uh, this partnership really important. And it's come at a good strike rate of uh, exactly 200. 26 run partnership of 13 deliveries. That's a good run, good run. Sensible running. They have to now... Uh, Big use of his remaining almost six overs left. Yeah, a lot of overs, still like 35 deliveries remaining. And the 
most important. They have wickets in hands. And Nabi Nazar won. The partnership is very crucial. It's building very quick. So this last five, six overs will be very important. First six overs for Ireland, they bowled really well. But the last six overs, we will see who will succeed. Afghanistan or Ireland will be very exciting. This time, hits, hits really well. What a shot from Mohamed Nabi. Shpagiza, through to mid-wicket. Little bit short of lane delivery. And he clears it really well. Look at that, the 6-6 six, six of this innings. Bowling too short, Delaney on that occasion. He was up to it. Just see that bat flow as well. There was a field in the deep, but he was a mere spectator. Just a mere spectator on that occasion. When Nabi hits the stray hit, he's got tremendous power behind him. Good uh, thinking as well, getting a six, rotating the strike now. The last few overs, Afghanistan, Hamid, they have come back very strongly. Thanks, uh, as you mentioned, about this partnership. It has been really good. It's a sensible cricket. 34 of 17 deliveries. Yes. He's almost bowling a fast deliveries. And Leggy become a fast bowler. Because the way Afghanistan batsmen playing, he should be feel a little bit worried in fear. The island supporters, uh, although they are smiling inside, they would be a touch worried, no doubt about that. Good to see the crowds in today, being a Sunday, being a holiday. Lovely settings here. We'll pick up a single uh, to end the over, 15 overs gone, and 12 for two. Eleven overs from here on, 167. If they get 13 per over, Hamid, 177. That should be a good score because Afghanistan um, have a very potent bowling attack, especially the spinners they have, the likes of Mujib, Rashid, the Mohammad Nabi. It's going to be a really interesting game. Big game for both the sides. If Afghanistan win, they win the series. If Ireland win, they square the series. So a lot of play for in the last T20. That's on Tuesday. Appeal there, appeal there. Where was impact? Outside the line of Austin, probably. That's going to be four leg buys. Whoa, it looks to me very close, but maybe a bit outside the off stump. But we have to see. Uh, just slightly outside the off stump. It was a good call from the umpire. Afghanistan will be very happy, got three, four runs. And Afghanistan are very blessed with plenty of all-rounders. Spinners, fast bowlers, medium pacer. They have full bucket of proper good T20 side. And the point you made, Hamid, a very important one because you mentioned about the all-rounders and uh, what that does is lens balance. You know, sometimes as an all-rounder, you are a touch expensive with the ball, but you can come back with the bat. At times, it's vice versa. But uh, the all-rounders you have, that means you have the depth in batting as well. And the good thing is the coach is also was one of the <laughs> best all-rounder, Lance Klusner. <laughs> Nicely played. Good wristy shot. We'll come back for the second. In fact, it's going to be a four. Didn't see that in the first ten overs. That's sloppy work in the deep. It's all because of pressure, runs is building, and you can see this next five overs for Ireland is not gonna help them if the way they feel like this. And that was very, very poor effort from the fielder. This time goes big! What a shot from Azharaban! 
clears the boundary. Shpagi's out. That's a brilliant strike. Shpagi's out. Sixes have been coming in the last few overs. And Azgar have gone in a tremendous touch. Moves on to 36 of 20. And what a shot in the slot for him. Goes for it. Just in a bad flow as well. That's tremendous. He's gone all the way. Getting the elevation. Getting the distance. Sailing over the ropes. When he's moved on, he always target the area. The way he loves to hit. This time, outside the off stump. But he loves that also. What a shot from Azhar Avan. Went really back and clears the point in short term and area. There was a no protection. So everything goes Afghanistan's way now. I tell you what, Azgar Avan today, he's leading from the front. Just going over the point here. He's opening his bat face intentionally. Played upish. Knew exactly what he was doing. Just see the way he opens the bat face. Deliberately playing over that area. Another four. Expensive over once again. 40 of 21. And this time down the ground. Down the ground is going to be a six. To end the over. What an over. 16 overs gone. 137 for two. What a counter-attack this has been from Afghanistan, led by their skipper, who's just blasted his way to 46 in 22 deliveries. This has been a run-fest, and the last few overs, you just get the impression that Ireland have just been a little off-colour as well. Picking it on the full, got the toe end of the bat, but that's power. That's sheer power by Asghar Afghan. Once more runs on offer. Coming back for the second, good running between the wickets, so he takes his, his jelly to 18. Now Nabi on to 18, 46 of 22. Uncharacteristic from Asghar Afghan, likes to take a bit of time in, for himself, run out in the previous match, but this has been a great redemption innings from him. And this is what you talk about experience, Devinder. When you talk about experience on the side, you have two of the best gentlemen for Afghanistan cricket in the middle at the moment. Natraj's stroke, how many runs away from the fielder? Four more. With all the carnage in the middle, you get to see these death touches as well. Curtsy, Nabi this time, just using the pace of the ball and flicking it down. Fine leg, the fielder was up and it was four the moment it got the bat. This is batting of very high caliber and pedigree at the moment. And Afghanistan are dictating terms. If I'm not wrong, in the first 10 overs, Afghanistan was somewhere around 61, 63 if I'm not wrong, 64. And just take a look at the score now in the 17th over, they are 143. Nabi flicks through the onside, Mr. President, he wants the second run. Asghar will be on 46 now, on the verge of getting to his half century, 46 of 22. It's, it's been a game-changing innings from the captain. So reappointed as captain of Afghanistan, preparing for the upcoming... Uh, T20 World Cup in Australia. Look at the strike rate, 209 from Azgar Afghan, completely changing the complexion of the match. Oh yes, this has been a very fine brand of counter-attack cricket here. Where Afghanistan changes in the field. Deep squarely comes in and uh, backward point goes uh, to deep point, should I say, deep backward point. So the offside has uh, a deep cover, a deep backward point. And you have a deep mid wicket, a long on and a long off as well. Change of angle, round the wicket. Something across, goes straight down the ground. They got the fielder, fielder underneath it. He takes the catch and the partnership is broken off 68. Will there be another twist in this innings? The umpire is checking. More drama here. Yeah? The Empire just wants to quickly check for that uh, delivery. But credit has to be given to the captain, Andy Balberni, as well. 
That field change resulted in that shot. Just take a look. Oh, oh we still looking at something. Or does he have some part of his heel behind that line? Remember, the line belongs to the Empire. This will be an anti-climax here, let me tell you. We need to take another look at that. And if that's not out, let me tell you, Ireland will feel robbed of an opportunity. These two gentlemen have created havoc in the middle. Pressure, pressure, it sifted the pressure from their own team to the opposition. No wonder they are making a lot of mistakes there. This is a crucial moment in play. Looked very, very tight. Looked very, very tight for the bowler on that occasion. Look at this is the another angle to tell us more. Nothing behind. Nothing behind. This will not be a good news for Ireland. Oh, yes, and that smile on Asghar Afghan's face pretty much sums up the story. That's a no ball. Nabi remains. It's a free hit on offer. Everything going Afghanistan's way at the moment. It's been a change in fortunes. The first 10 overs belong to Ireland. And right now, the remaining 10 overs look to be going Afghanistan's way. Nabi and Asghar Afghan, what a partnership this has turned out to be. Two of the stalwarts of uh, Afghanistan cricket, the senior campaigners from 2009 to now. They've been holding the courts in the middle order, 70 of 29. What a partnership. What's an offer? Free hit. And he smacks it, times it well. The catch won't matter. The batsman will come back for the second throw. Is slightly wider there. Two more runs. It's all happening here, let me tell you. A free hit on offer, the catch taken of that, two runs completed and Afghanistan are fighting as always. That was not middled, Simi Singh with that catch over there, but had the throw been over the stumps it would have been closer. Nevertheless, Nabi was very quick to get back as well and how well has he played as in this context of the game, giving company to Asghar Afghan, 25 or 15. Works through the onside. He's taking the first one hard. We'll come back for the second. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Good running between the wicket when the boundaries are not coming. It's it's essential. 150 comes up for Afghanistan. At one point of time, it didn't look ominous. Absolutely, Devinder. But just take a look at this. For cricket at its very best. You're getting the sixes. You're getting your fours. But then you remember that you need to rotate the strike as well and those two runs placed into the area of no man's land just like the way Afghanistan have shifted gears in the second part of this innings Nabi hammers it straight flat fielder on the boundary he takes the catch Haji he heads the partnership is broken now oh yes this time nicely taken by the fielder in the deep Nabi not getting the elevation on this nor the distance, he's a little livid with himself. Just got the toe end of the bat. Nicely rounded off by the fielder. Just took it chest high. And completed that. Uh oh. Almost close to the rope as well, but much needed wicket. The boy Rankin will breathe a sigh of relief. He's seen everything. So, against the run of play, Afghanistan lose a wicket. Nice catch by George Dockrell. Kept his eye, kept his composure and alertness at the ropes. 27 of 17. After 17 overs, it's 150 for three. So no Karim Janat as yet. Najibullah Jadran, the new batsman in and left-handed batsman who played at that vintage innings of 42 of 21 in the previous match from nowhere to help his side win that first encounter at age of 27, 59. So a lot of experience. 40 runs short of 1,000 run. Good average also for someone who bets low down, down the order. Gets a slower delivery on the leg stump. Will take a single. 
How well has Asghar Afghan batted as captain coming in at a precarious situation to bail his team out of trouble and now take charge in the middle as well. It's been a very good counter-attack innings by him and now the stylish batsman I would say. He looks so good on the eyes. Najibullah Zadran. You can watch him. I just like the way he plays that free-flowing brand of cricket on both sides of the wicket. Uh, let me add uh, Devendra. You have plenty of experience of playing various leagues around the globe also. The Bangladesh Premier League also, Canada Premier League and, and Caribbean Premier League. He played a couple of outstanding innings in the Caribbean Premier League. So, and also scored a lot of runs in the Spagiza Cricket League. 97 of 36, everyone remembers back in Kabul. This time works through the onside. Two, or if you're thinking about just settling for a single here. Let's get a plan on the milestone. 48 of 24. A monumental innings. His team was under some kind of pressure. You did mention he has a lot of experience and the first thing he does is takes a single and gives strike to his more accomplished partner, Asghar Afghan, who's batting at a strike rate of 200, three sixes and four fours and only three dots, which means that it's not just the boundaries that he's relied on, he's also run the hard yards in the middle. This has been an innings of very high calibre. Hits through the onside, he's going to take a single. This is the area that's where they target all the time, running between the wicket, especially the, the strike rotation with Nabi and also Asghar Afghan. That's been very, very good. That's what they missed in the opening pair. That's where they are working, actually. Just before the start of this series, Vance Kluzner was of the opinion that they will be working on this aspect of running between the wicket and also playing against the short ball. Oh, yes, so with Lance Kluzner at the helm in the coaching duties, you'd expect the side to bring out... Uh, more qualities in every department. Lance, of course, is a legend in his own right. The projector score right now looking somewhere close to 175. Najibullah on strike, Afghan batting on uh, 49 in only 25 deliveries. This has been a good performance so far. Oh, very good slow delivery. Too far outside the office time. He likes to hit through the onside. Excellent bowling once again from Joshua Little. Oh yes, taking the pace of the ball once again. That ball dying onto the batsman. In fact, didn't even reach the wicket keeper convincingly. But uh, you you got to come out with these kind of variations. Back of the hand delivery that we are seeing. We've seen the knuckle ball. We've seen the back of the hand delivery. T20 cricket is all about innovation. Maybe over cover, extra cover. It's a good delivery. Quicker one this time around. We'll take a single on 49 of 25. Azgar Afghan. And this has been a very good entertainment, courtesy as Garab Khan. It's not only kept for the room, he bowled with a quicker pace also. This is what you always expect, fighting spirit all the time, giving 100% the commitment from Irish players. 70 runs in last 30 deliveries. With just one wicket, that wicket of Nabi. More changes in the field now. So they're dropping the fieldsmen from uh, mid on to the back on the boundary ropes at the long on region. Mid wicket, who is very, very straight on the boundary. Square leg is also on the boundary. And the third man is up, back with a point. Sweeper on the offside. What's, what would be the modality of getting to his half century? Has he got some connection here? He's going to take the run here. Direct hit, but gets a deflection of the bat. Was that off the bat? Not yet. Leg by signal. Importantly, they got the single and he gets the strike. That's what's important. Asghar Afghan needs to retain strike. 18 overs completed is 155 for three. And what's good to see is that the turnout this Sunday afternoon has been overwhelming. That's uh, Cricket Chacha over there. He's quite a celebrity in his own right. And you can take a look at that. Selfies all the way around him. He's been a flag bearer of Afghanistan cricket and... Uh, has travelled with the team and supported them unconditionally. And this is what uh, Cricket Chacha is now used to. Selfies from fans. So none for 25 in three overs for uh, Craig Yang. Very good figures. On 49. Is that off the bat? Is that off the bat? We have to wait for the signal from the umpire. Leg by signal again. Nineteenth over in progress at the start of the first ten overs. It looked like Afghanistan was struggling to get to 150. 
But then in came that partnership between Nabi and Asghar Afghan. And they just took the game away, at least for the moment, from Ireland, who looked so good and disciplined in the first 10 overs. It's all about momentum, Devinder, and it's all about having those patches as well. One big hits from him. Oh, he's beaten beautiful bowling. This is superb stuff. Keeping that right underneath the bat. Very well bowled. That's a very good Yorker, let me tell you. That's death bowling at its very best. Well, they always talk about line and length, but it's very difficult to execute when the pressure is on. You missed the the line this time around on the next stump, so he's going to take a single here. They need boundaries, Afghanistan. Flurry of boundaries in the last couple of overs or so. Good comeback here by Ireland, I should say. They went the firing line few hours back, but they've just pulled things back. There you see Cricket Chacha with his support. Half century on cards. He swings it and straight to the fielder. Takes the catch. He's denied a half century here. Asghar Afghan is out for 49 of 27. Caught on the boundary. Great. Young strikes for Ireland at a time when they needed someone set batsman at the crease, but he's perished for the cause of the team trying to clear the boundary. Getting it to from the two end of the bat. And it's a very well just catch on the boundary. A simple straightforward catch there for the field of Asghar Afghan going for glory. And uh, fairly understandable that he had to go for it but what a selfless knock it has been uncompromising innings 49 of 28 157 for four in the 19th over but what an innings by the captain he walks back to a loud cheer from his we head into a stop break has been a fantastic over so far. So not giving anything away to the opposition at the time and the deep boundaries. Najibullah Jadran also taking five deliveries for his three. Gulbuddin Naib, he can hit big shots also at the age of 28 into his 47th match. 56 is best. Let's lower down the order. Uh, will be very useful on this wicket. But the ball is uh, gripping a bit so with his slower delivery we saw the example of using slower deliveries throughout the match from Irish bowlers need that kind of bowler who bowls a lot of slow deliveries. So final leg is going back on the boundary. And tennis ball bouncer. This is tremendous stuff from Craig Yang. Last over to be bowled in the first innings. Afghanistan 158 for four. Quick look at the batting card of Afghanistan. This match has been a game in passages. That's uh, Joshua Little who will be bowling the final over of this Afghanistan innings. Has looked very good. 17 runs for his three overs. Can he finish the job? Little to bowl and it has to go big for Afghanistan. Uh, I appeal for MBW. Will not be entertained by the umpire. Walk off this of the spot very quickly away from from the stumps. The empire there. Look at where did that pitch outside the leg stump maybe, and also the height factor. Okay. Maybe the height factor pitched uh, in line. We just get the impression that it must have been climbing on its way towards the stumps. But we just come back to that point, Devendra. It's never easy for a new batsman to come and strike. You've got to spend some time in the middle. 
No wonder, 16 extra is out of that, 12 leg bites. That's not bowler's fault. He swings it straight down the ground. It's a humongous shot. It's gone for a six. Timely six from the Dibulajan. That was easy pickings for him, pitched at a relatively good length and Najibullah Zardran just went through with the shot, stand and deliver over the bowler's head. All these are welcome runs, let me tell you. Calm and composed, eyes lit up, it was more of a half tracker and the bowler knew it the moment that ball hit the bat. Mental damage done of the very first delivery. What's going to be the response from Josh Mitchell? <laughs> Mitchell, he played up in the air. They got the filter on the boundary ropes. He will see it sail over him for a six. Two back to back sixes. Back again. It's him and him again. Najibullah Jadran on fire. And the sixers are coming with pure cricketing shots, let me tell you. Effortlessly played by Najibullah Jadran. This man is so good on the eyes that, let me add, Master the delight of the Afghanistan fans, Najibullah Zadran is uh, creating a lot of cheer in the middle. Back to back sixes. Look at this once again. Just picks it up from length and goes over long on. What an impact he's making in the final over. Two back to back sixes. And he goes again through the onside, this time to the fielder on the boundary. Will take a single. Is he thinking about doing something about it? Gulbuddin can strike big, but this has been a great Kenny already from Najibullah Jadran. 16 of 9. Two sixes already from this over. Two deliveries to go. One boundary, at least one boundary. That's what Afghanistan's searching. Already 14 runs in the first four deliveries. Little under little pressure at the moment. Slower delivery and smacked it flat hard. That's gone for four. Well, well, well. It has become 18 with one delivery to go in the first inning. That's gone for a six. I beg a pardon. That's gone for a six. It's a flat strike from Gulbadin. Once again, a nothing delivery on the shorter side. And all Gulbadin had to do was uh, just get behind it and hit it towards square leg. What an over this is turning out to be for Afghanistan. And how can Ireland undo all the hard work in this one last over? This will pinch them. 18 already. 18 already from this over. It's not ending anytime soon. It's going up, up. They got the field. It's gone all the way for a six. What a fantastic final over. 24 coming from it. 20 overs gone. Afghanistan. They are joyful now. Back in Kabul. They must be celebrating like anything like they're celebrating here. It's 184 for 4 in 20 overs, Afghanistan. What a finish. This has been an amazing comeback by Afghanistan. Under the course for the first 10 overs, it was a counter attack led by Nabi and Asghar Afghan. And in the end, finishing touches put by Najibullah and uh, Gulbadin Neb. This has been a very fine batting performance by Afghanistan. Winning the toss, selecting to bat first. And this batting card is confirmation that they've all contributed. 28 of 33 for Zazai. Good pass, 35 of 30. Then that innings of 49 that changed the complexion of the game and brought Afghanistan back into the match. Nabi also came in and played a cameo. And in the end, the finishing touches by Najibullah and Gulab Dineb. 28 runs in only 13 deliveries between them. Well, well, well. The bowlers who started really well in the first 10 overs didn't give... Much away to the opposition, but the taken for the cleaners with 32 partnerships. Zazai and Gurbaz was a bit sedate there, 57 of 53. Azgar Afghan and Gurbaz contributing 19 of 21, the recovery phase. And then this game-changing partnership, 74 of 32 between Azgar Afghan and Nabi, the senior pros for Afghanistan. And then quick fire, 27 of 8 between Gulbuddin Naib and Najibullah Jadran. They finished with a six of the last ball, 16 extras, but most of them were leg buys, not the bowlers fault. Talking about the bowling performance, uh, Paul Sterling just bowling a solitary over, going for three runs. Paul Rankin was taken four runs after a couple of outstanding overs to begin with. One for 37 and uh, one wicket for Craig Young. 
uh, one for 27 and one for 36 for Gareth Bale. The next winner who broke that partnership getting the wicket of Mohamed Nabi. Yep. So when they come out to bat, they need 185 runs at the rate of 9.25 runs per over. Plenty of spinners to strangle it, their progress, Ireland. But we could be in for a thriller here. We take a short break. We'll be back with the second innings very, very quickly.
Yes, it's the second T20 international of uh, the Islamic Bank of Afghanistan. Afghanistan winning the toss, deciding to bat first. 20 overs, 184 for four. Good start by Zazai and Gurbaz. 28 and 35. Brilliant batting by Asghar Afghan. One run short of his half century. And what a finish by Najibullah and Neb. 16 of 9 for Najibullah. 13 of just four deliveries for Neb. 184 for four. And have a look at those partnerships. So for the first wicket, Gurbaz and Zazai. 57 of just 53. And for the third wicket, 74 of 32 between the senior pros of uh, the Afghanistan team, Asghar Afghan and Nabi. And eventually, Naib and Najibullah, 27 of just 8 balls. Remember, 24 runs coming off the last over. So, the Irish bowlers eventually, in the end, just losing the plot. In the first 10 overs, they were nice, perfect bowling uh, to the decided plans. But in uh, the second half of the first inning, somewhere they lost their plot. Along with me in the com box uh, is a pacer of the Afghanistan team. How's it going so far? Brilliant wicket from Afghanistan after first 10 overs. They're really slow, but next 10 overs, they've been outstanding. And this is the stunner catch. Absolutely brilliant catch from a bowler, his own bowling. Gurbaz was trying to hit some boundaries he achieved but this was the time he got run out if you run in the early on maybe he might be reached to the crease but he has to depart and then Mr. President came to the party joined the senior pro Asghar Afghan a very valuable partnership between them 74 runs partnership changed the momentum this is one of his favorite area and favorite shot through mid wicket deep to his crease all the time and this is sloppy field after 10 overs island fielding was a little bit sloppy like they missed some opportunities in this time as garavgan connected really well clears the boundary Absolutely, Hamid Asghar took a liking to those full pitch deliveries, playing on the leg side towards the deep mid wicket, long on region, getting those runs at ease, and then also playing it nicely, tucking it away. One run short of his half century, but what an innings that was! Straight to the fielder that occasion, but it was a captain's stock batting it at uh, number three at the top order coming in, and uh, eventually Afghanistan also losing a couple of wickets, but the last over. What super striking that was in the last over. Yeah, this man, Najibullah Sathran, he's a game changer. He came to crease, hit with a mighty blows, two massive sixes. What a talent he is. And Gulbadi in the ex captain, he joins the party. This is the finishing six of the innings for Afghanistan. Total of 184 for four wickets gone in just 20 years. Well, this was uh, brilliant batting in uh, the last 10 overs by uh, Afghanistan. Yes, the island uh, bowling card, good bowling by Paul Soling. The first hole that he bowled considered only three runs. Wickets for uh, Boyd Ranking, Young, and Delany. Dockrell going for runs in his uh, the, in the only over that he bowled. Joshua Little started well, but eventually ending uh, with conceding 42 runs. Three gets picked up by the bowlers and a run out. Right then uh, for Afghanistan to uh, win this uh, series, they need to defend 184. Ireland require 185 in 20 overs at 9.25 runs per over. Be back after a short little break.
Welcome back uh, to the second T20 International of the Islamic Bank of Afghanistan Cup 2020 with the hashtag of peace all over, hashtag peace for all. It's time for Ireland to save the series. If they win it, it's going to be one all. 
It's been a long time since Ireland have defeated Afghanistan. They need to chase a heavy target here. And 180 runs is uh, quite an ask. It's a powerful uh, fielding unit, the bowling unit. But these two men, as we were discussing at the start of the game, it all depends on these two men here. Paul Sterling and Kevin O'Brien. They have all the power required to get uh, Ireland to a super rollicking start. But there will be pressure as well because it's the series online. And there is uh, the legend of uh, Ireland cricket. Kevin O'Brien, who can forget that scintillating knock against England in uh, the World Cup in India. And of course, Paul Sterling. He was in uh, good form in uh, the first T20 International. Got Ireland off uh, to a super start. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chaitanya Sant. Along with me is Hamid Hassan, the Afghanistan pacer. Hamid, good afternoon. Thank you, Chaitan. It's a lovely day we're having so far. And what a game is on. The most experienced player in Ireland side, Kevin O'Brien. 95 T20s, 1627 <laughs> runs. <laughs> Other side, Sterling. A hard hitting batsman who play the ball really well with full power and proper timing. Mr. Magician, Mujib, what a talent he is. Age of 18, he play all over in the world. What a talent. God gifted player for Afghanistan. And all the time he ball with the new. So Ireland need 185 runs to win. To level the series. The first ball, how difficult is it for a spinner to start with the new ball? Always difficult to grip it. And looking for the second run, sent back by Kevin O'Brien. We've seen a few uh, run outs with Afghanistan. Not so much uh, with uh, the island batsman though. Yeah, I was looking for two runs. But you cannot take out Rashid Khan from the action. If it's fielding, or batting or bowling, he's all the time in the game. Pretty energetic cricketer. A lovely athlete. Yeah, absolutely, Rashid Khan at uh, the long on region to the two fielders and on the boundary. Yeah, so the two fielders on boundary are uh, the long on and uh, the deep square leg. Yeah, you can see the ball is drifting from Mujib. It's like almost an in swinger. This time, hits to mid on, but luckily landed no man's land. It's just only one run. And a very good fielder on the boundary. Kevin O'Brien needs to be careful because Rashid never drop a catch. And all the time, the ball, when it comes high or lower, especially catch deliveries. This time, make himself room. Oh, it's inside age. Just only one run. So they're looking for the boundaries. The first six overs, Ireland ball really well to Afghanistan. But this first six overs will be also very important for both sides. Because we have seen the surface, it's really good for the batting. But I have to give the credit to the Ireland bowlers in first 10 overs. But last 10 overs, Afghanistan were absolutely on the top. Absolutely right, uh, Hamid. They were lethal, were the Afghanistan batsmen. And here again, trying to make room for himself was uh, Kevin O'Brien, a little misfield, allowing uh, a run. Najib uh, Nabi there, pardon me, giving away a run uh, to the Irish batsman. Going for the big hit. Has he connected? Is it going all the way? No, it is uh, a couple of bounces. And more importantly, that's four runs to end the first over. Good end. To the first over for Ireland at the end of the first over, the eight for no loss.
108 for no loss. In comes 32 year old Shapur Zadran. Left arm, medium fast, 36 matches. And the man sitting next to me knows more about him. Oh, absolutely. Shapur Zadran. He maintained his fitness really well. And he used to ball up to 140 plus. But nowadays, he reduced his pace. And also, the run up is a little bit shorter. Big fan of Shoaib Akhtar. Running. Here was flying in the air. He loves to ball quick. He improved a lot. His skills. This is the last delivery. Couple of bounces to the boundary. But very full delivery. If you see Ireland spin balling in first six overs, they ball a little bit shorter and quicker. They not give the room or allow Afghanistan batsmen to hit the ball to the mid-on or mid-off. So Mujib should think there's a not, not much spin, there's not much drifting. It's better to ball a little bit quicker and not too fuller. And that's right, always ball to a plan, isn't it, in the first six overs. Again, taking the pace of the ball, uh, Misfield will again allow a run to uh, Kevin O'Brien there. Moves on. Uh, to uh, three runs, gets Paul Sterling on strike. But as uh, Hamid was mentioning, bowling to a plan is important. Giving away, no, giving absolute no room to the Afghanistan openers was the key. And uh, have a look at that again. In the slot, that should have been a dot ball. But uh, Sterling misfield, resulting in a run. Sami Shinwari, one of the best fielders in Afghanistan side. But sometimes, best fielders can make mistakes. We have seen in Ireland innings as well when when they bowling to Afghanistan in last 10 overs, some sloppy fielding work. And now we have seen from Nabi and Sami. Every single run is very important. Ah! Improvise this time. Win for appeal. Luckily they didn't connect. Otherwise it will be a, a six. It's a good line in length from Shapur. Oh yes, Paul Sterling looking for that sweep there. The intention was right because it's the short, fine leg. So if you just clear him, that's four runs for you. But unfortunately for him, he was not able to connect. Good bowling. Okay, nicely connected straight to the field. Uh, this time, he doesn't make a mistake. Short ball. Excellent bowling from Shapur. He's not giving any room, any width. To Paul Sterling, he knows his strength. He all the time loves to connect the ball through to cover or mid-off area. A punchy player. Looking for the punch, but Shapur is very intelligent. He's not giving any room to Sterling. Sterling will be looking for a boundary because Ireland needs some boundaries to put pressure on Afghanistan side. This time, make himself room, slower delivery. He connects really well and it's a boundary. That's what I was talking about. He always looking true to the cover. Just slightly a little bit. He moves his feet and releases his hands. And there was no chance who can save this boundary. A welcome boundary for Ireland and Paul Sterling. Good cricket. It was absolutely needed right now. Clears his front foot. Clears uh, the infield. And gets four runs, moves on to 13, just five runs considered by Shapur in this over. The first four deliveries uh, went away only for a run and then uh, the boundary on the fifth delivery. Again, as he connected, connected well, but straight to the fielder. Dot ball to end the second over, Ireland at 13 for no loss. When the target is 185, you need the first six overs uh, to be 
healing, uh, getting a lot of runs right now for oh! Ireland. Going for the big hit on the leg side, big appeal. Umpire says not out, he's on move there. Umpire Ahmad Shah Pakhtin was not interested. And the ball was drifting a little bit towards leg side. Yeah, it was a fair and good decision from the umpire in the end. This time, wants to sweep. A slog sweep. But excellent bowling from Mujib. Not too fuller, not too shorter. An excellent line and length. That's the best line. He's not giving opportunity to Kevin O'Brien. This time, fuller, straighter, in a maximum. What a shot from Kevin O'Brien. Excellent cricket, beautiful batting. Two dot deliveries, and then the third one, a maximum spagiza. Oh, yes, in the slot there, and Kevin O'Brien is not going to miss on such opportunities. Gets the six. Again, shuffling, swept away, gets four more. Ah, this is good striking by Kevin O'Brien, uh, putting some pressure on Mujib and getting those runs. Well, Mr. Kings 11, Punjab in pressure. Mr. Magician in trouble. Back to back boundaries, maximum in a four now. I have to say, a good cricket from Kevin O'Brien. The shuffling, the movement of his feet is absolutely brilliant. This time, sweeps again. And he connects really well. Looks like a maximum. Yeah, it's a six. What a shot, what a cricket. Never mind, never mind. Mujib in trouble. Afghanistan is also in trouble. What a cricket. Runs are taking. Brilliant cricket. Yeah, that's right, Amit. There's some pressure now on uh, the young bowler, Mujib. He's played a lot of T20 international cricket across the world, but right now, under the pump. Catch it! Again in the air, chance, fielder under it, will be able to reach to that one. Yes, he has. Good catch taken there. And eventually it's Mujib who comes out victorious. Well, it happens same in the first T20s. Kevin O'Brien with some boundaries and then Mujib got him out. And this time again, two boundaries. And a catch from Kareem Jannat. What a catch. It's not easy catch when you're running towards backside and looking to the ball, as coaches always say, eyes on the ball. He never drop his eyes. A brilliant catch. A missed time from Kevin O'Brien, but a good innings. He got 19 runs. Ireland, 29 for one. Uh, what a brilliant catch that was and uh, the first wicket resulting in the skipper coming in Andy Balboni 42nd match 890 runs uh, 83 his best 42 T20 internationals for uh, the skipper and it's going to be Shapur Zadran to bowl his second over and the fourth over of the innings 29 for one our island first ball Balboni in the air just falling short of the fielder there Balboni is here because of this. A brilliant catch from Kareem Jannat in a missed time shot. He tried to clear the mid off area once again, but what an athlete, what a cricketer he is. A younger brother of skipper Azgaravan. A good, talented cricketer. Kenny Balboni take his team leading from the front, like Azgaravan did for Afghanistan. Uh, there's some responsibility on him now because as we were discussing, Ireland are heavy on the top three, Paul Sterling, Andrew Balboni, Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien is back in the dugout after uh, looking to make the most of uh, the off-spinner. Look at the support there for Afghanistan. Anywhere across the world, Afghanistan playing, there's support for you, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes, this is the Hamid style. The headgear is missing though. 
but the flags there the headgear is missing hamid but good support uh, for afghanistan anywhere that they play yeah, yeah absolutely i love these three colors whenever i see i feel i'm in the ground <laughs> so it's a peace for all absolutely hamid hasan there with us in uh, the com box paul soling batting on 10 of 7 balls short ball short fine leg uh, will uh, cut that out just run good bowling so far by shapur is just given away seven runs in his nine deliveries yeah absolutely he's using his experience he bowled really well in shpagiza got done their wickets with slower cutters a beautiful young kid with a beautiful flags but no would be drinking this if you want to become a cricketer Absolutely, if you want to be a fast bowler like Hamid Hasan, you should be away from all those drinks. Makes room for himself, covers the infield, clears it, and is it? Has it gone all the way? Wait for the decision from the umpire. Nonetheless, it's a good shot, and it's been signalled as four runs. Well, it's a shorter day for me. One of the best shot of the match so far. Brilliant, brilliant shot. All the time. cover area because they know there's a no fielder and this time shapur reduces his pace but the way he connects was absolutely brilliant a good shot from skipper can opens the face of the bad looking for the gap but brilliant feeling there by najib diving to his left and definitely saving three runs for his team Excellent effort from Najib. Save two, three runs for the side. A commitment. One of the most strongest throw he have in the side. Always busy. Asghar Afan. If he's captain or not captain, he loves to be leading from the front. And he is a captain now. So last ball of the fourth over. Again, nicely played. Looking for the quick run. Direct hit might be close. Not to happen though. Single to end the fourth over. Ireland are 37 for one. This game is nicely poised. 37 for one Ireland after four overs. Given a Brian, that was a big wicket. Good job. Playing up it. That's happened. The uh, fielder coming underneath, and that's the second wicket. The second wicket for Muji. Paul Sterling, the danger man, he's got to go back. Just trying to take the hill route up. Didn't get the timing right. Didn't get the elevation that he wanted. and uh, ireland they have lost the second wicket welcome the winner thank you ajay well 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 he went for 49 from the previous match but taken two important wickets here both the openers back in the pavilion paul sterling always a dangerous match man there and was caught beautifully by the fielder coming in from the boundary he has always been a safe fielder najibul ajadran taking the catch and paul sterling is dismissed for 12 of 10 not quite getting the team up to a cracker 37 for 2 ireland in a spot of bother Thirty-seven for two. Given Delhi up comes in. He's got a task in hand. Uh, the problem for Ireland is both the new uh, batters out there. 
and this was the second wicket to fall uh, Paul Sterling playing that high up in the air not getting the uh, distance that he wanted but two big wickets coming for Mujib uh, first getting the wicket of Kevin O'Brien that was a great catch by Karim Jannat and then uh, this wicket of uh, Paul Sterling and that's the reason Delny he comes in another right hander Gareth Delny 22 years old the 22nd game for him 250s uh, he's done well in his short career and uh, he's there because this was a wicket didn't get the distance that he wanted Boys. high up in the air good neat catch in the deep ah! ugly just up uh, shout as well there was that bat in it that wood in it uh, the ball just coming up into the right hander just thought there were two noises there the high back left yes uh, that one just coming in to the right hander mixing his delivery is really nicely up uh, one, one. one is the call and one they will get the good news for Afghanistan is that the man who went for 49 in four overs in the previous match he's, he's striking and he's striking well getting both the openers early today and they needed big partnership at the top of the order to to match and to explore the possibility of win a fantastic over this from Mujibur Rahman once again five overs bold here in Greater Noida it's 39 for two Ireland It's really good to see uh, people in today, being a Sunday, being a holiday. A lot of support here for the Afghanistan side. Beautiful uh, sitting there on the hill banks. Going to be a change in bowling now from uh, the far end. The man who took that wonderful catch uh, to dismiss uh, Kevin O'Brien. He comes in. Kareem Jannat, another handy all-rounder for Afghanistan. Coming on from the far end. 24 wickets for him in his uh, T20 career. 5 for 11 being his best. Yeah, it came at a time when the team was struggling. They lost the first T20 against the West Indies in Lucknow. Then taking those five wickets in second T20 to turn the tide over and win that T20 match. It's been driven beautifully. The placement was immaculate. Yeah, that shows his potential as a batsman. Just carving it away on the offside, just opening the bat phase. Beautifully done by him. Knew exactly what he was doing. A control shot. Just by sticking that gap. The first boundary here for Dilne. Saw him in the last game as well. Uh, was looked very impressive with the bat. Just the technique that he possesses, the winder. Yeah, handy all rounder. He performed really well in the World Cup T20 World Cup qualifiers in in Oman. Then uh, had a fantastic series in West Indies T20 and ODI also. And now he's on to six. He is going to be key man from from this position when it comes to producing the boundaries at the consistent rate to get there. The current rate is 8.25, but they need much more than this. Lovely strike, beautiful time. Racing away. Quality shot once again, just making room for himself. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, Bernie on that occasion, look at this one, didn't try to hit it hard. It was all about finding the gap, just opening the face of the bat and timed, and timed it to perfection to get a boundary. Just giving a bit of room to himself to unleash that shot through the offside. Pierced to perfection. Yeah, always a hallmark of a good batsman, the winner is the way he finds those gaps, and they're exactly a what he's done so far, six or four deliveries. Once again, finding the field at this time. He's looking in good touch, just the timing that he's uh, showing at the moment. He's looked in uh, good touch, Delney. But no means this game is over because... Uh, no means uh, this game is over. To quality batsman in the crease here for Ireland. Coming down the track. Coming back uh, for the second bit of fumble there in the deep. They're looking for the third as well. That could be tight. Well, Mohamed Nabi, the senior campaigner, the experienced campaigner there, was put under pressure by that good running between the wicket. Taking the first one hard, putting the pressure on the fieldsman and rare. 
error induced from uh, from him. So well, Bernie, he is going to be key man. He is someone who likes to take a bit of time and then then accelerates accordingly. Big man wants to run, easily taken in the end. Six overs gone, 51 for two. The only problem for Ireland is uh, that after six overs, they've lost those couple of wickets. Afghanistan, uh, as far as runs go, were uh, much lesser for them. 34 without loss. But Ireland, although they, they have got those runs, they've lost two uh, important wickets. And both the wickets very experienced batsmen, Kevin O'Brien and Paul Sterling. Amish Apakti in the empire, signaling the end of the power play. They've been able to, to do really well. The first power play is ended at uh, 51 for 2, but two experienced campaigners, prolific run scorer for, for Ireland, 47th match, 16 wickets for him, but this wicket will suit him. He's someone who bowls a lot of slower deliveries and has good control over it. Now the important factor for Afghanistan is they still have someone like Rashid Khan who bowled so well in the last game. They're just holding up the rovers. Rashid Khan, uh, I think he's going to be uh, very important to seeing the stage of the game. Last game, the way he came back, uh, the way he got those three wickets, reaching the complexion of the game. Rashid Khan is a big match winner for Afghanistan over the years. Handles that pressure really well. So just holding him up at the moment, uh, those four overs uh, from him are really going to be the key. Slower delivery is going to take a single here and also the pressure will be relieved because he was captain of the side didn't perform up to the expectation but now with the responsibility being taken over by Asghar Afghan so he has got this freedom to think about his own game and that's why he's a vital cog in the unit and as a game changer he's been a magnificent performer for Afghanistan no wonder they are placed number seven all the spinners are very effective but Rashid Khan is a game changer under pressure he always delivers Just mixing his pace, that's good thinking. Good thinking there. Got to uh, mix your pace because uh, this surface is really uh, very good, very conducive of batting. The required run rate just creeping up a bit. You see the way he mixes that pace. Good effort as well. In the end, in his follow through, every dot delivery is going to be important. He's going very close to his arms. That should be a wide. Tough for the keeper as well. Again, searching for that leg and not quite executing it to, to the effect that he wanted on that occasion. Look at this one. It's drifting down the leg stem. And a bad bounce for wicketkeeper Rehman Ola Gurbaz. There are times uh, you also have to realize as a bowler, you don't need to experiment too much because uh, let the batsman try something fancy out of the textbook. That's clobber. That's high up in the air and finding the fielder. That man we are mentioning about once again coming to the act, Rashid Khan. And the wrestler, wrestler arrests the momentum for Ireland. Against the run of play, there was no need to play these kind of shot with fieldsmen on the boundary ropes. Gareth Denley, a talented player, not realizing his potential. He's dismissed, caught on the boundary. A poor short selection. Look at this one. Getting it from the two end of the bat with the fieldsman on the boundary ropes. There was no need to play this kind of shot. Rashid Khan making no mistake. Perfectly positioned and perfectly held on the boundary ropes. Gareth Denley out for seven. It's 55 for three. They are in the familiar territory, the Irish players. So 
Bit of trouble here for Ireland. They've lost the three wickets. Harry Tector now comes in at 20 years old. 150 for him in his T20 career. Best being 60. 19th game for him. I think just the fact, Devinder, if you see this lineup in the middle order, not much experience for Ireland. They have experience at the top. Yeah. And meshing about the top, the likes of Kevin O'Brien, Paul Sterling, but just in, the, just in the middle order. You see someone like Tech, even uh, Denley who got out. Not much experience behind them. And Ajay, especially the experience of playing spin. Uh, that's something that, that is missing here. That was not, not the perfect shot that he should have thought about it, executing that one. Rashid Khan, safe as always. I tell you what, that was a really good catch by Rashid. He was travelling. Pulls it. A lot of bottom hand and that's in the gap. It's going to be a four to win the over. 60 for three Ireland. Excellent support for Afghanistan as always, whether they're playing in India or, or somewhere else. Joyful. That's what they co communicate. Joyfulness. That's what Afghanistan cricket is all about. Always smiling. Ever smiling. A session. Karim Janath uh, to continue from the far end. Widespread field. More fieldsmen in place there on the boundary ropes with uh, third man going on the boundary. Men at the point position on the offside. And also, mid off is going back on the boundary. They got long on. Men at the deep square position on the onside. So, looking to protect the boundaries. Wait on, wait on. Flicks it hard, straight to the fielder. I think the important factor for a new batsman is once you come in and uh, you just knew at the crease, just rotate the strike. Balboni has been uh, at the crease for some time. Just uh, take those singles. Four bowlers employed so far. Kareem Jannat bowling his second over. That's cut away. Nicely done. The placement was terrific. Well, Fletcher shot outside the office stump, and that was a shot played with a lot of precision. And the placement was absolutely fantastic. Look at this one. Fletcher shot outside the office stump, sitting back and just opening the face of the bat and cutting it. Uh, chopping it away from that fielder. No chance for the fieldsman on the boundary ropes. Gulubuddin had not even conceived that idea of stopping that one. It's a beautiful stroke. Played for uh, Ireland Wolves in uh, South Africa and scored a lot of runs against Namibia recently. So, men coming in with some runs into this contest. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be important for Ireland to stitch a partnership here. The skipper is still out there. Balborini uh, has got uh, some experience behind him. Dector has uh, to lend him support. A credit to uh, Afghanistan, the way they have got those wickets, Mujib. Uh, Picking up those two very important wickets. Mentioned earlier, Rashid Khan still uh, having his four overs left. Mohammad Nabi as well. Many a times we see him bowl uh, after the 10th over. Rashid Khan. Nice. Back up. You, you. And also, they have uh, uh, the option of Samuel Shinwari, the leg spinner. Uh, but I don't think they will require his services because the way they're going about the business, the fast bowlers. Now they're operating well. They picked up three important wickets, including the openers, Paul Sterling and Kevin O'Brien. They needed someone at this juncture of the game to hit those boundaries. Balburn is someone who likes to take time and strike rotation. But they need someone who can play big shots because it's not going to be easy. Another good slower delivery. Yeah, he knows uh, it was really close, really close. Those smiles really telling a story, uh, just shuffling across. Going uh, towards the all star, just going over the bail there. Just over the bail, perilously close. Really close. And that's the reason uh, we saw that bowler smiling on that occasion. And the kind of shot they play, the top spin when they play the, a bit 
the game of table tennis just over the top of the sense yeah. quick delivery and it's been driven handsomely a powerful strike for four to mark the end of the eighth over 70 for three Ireland mm, the run rate is fine but it's about keeping the wickets Skyscrapers there for Ireland. They have been into rebuilding act. That's because each time they've looked to cut loose, they've lost wickets at regular intervals, and that's been their problem and concern. They're still living to fight another day in this particular game at the moment. Eight over 70 for three. And all depends on how Balverni marshals his boys in the middle. Uh, looking for the big hike on the leg side. Three fielders there. But uh, he'll be uh, looking to clear the fence. Not to happen though. Once again, uh, taking the pace off the ball, keeping that slightly outside off stump. And the tendency for batsmen to play across the line in this game is evident because of the true nature of the pitch. Well, Bernie will have to lead a sign much like how Afghan did while he Afghanistan was batting. Oh, he goes big. He goes high. Has he got the distance on that? Yes, he has. It's a six. Much needed, just releasing the pressure over there, Balwani, giving the charge and hitting it over Cow Corner. Absolutely, he needs to do Asghar Afghan for uh, the Irish team here coming down the track on the leg side, most favoured area, and uh, gets the maximum. Not the most convincing hit, got the toe end of the bat, but good enough to cross the ropes over there. Once again, taking the pace off it, just gets uh, back to it, a single towards uh, deep covers. So, Balverni has made his intentions clear. He'll be the more aggressive partner and Tector will be happy rotating the strike. How the passage of play has changed, the momentum has shifted, Chaitanya, between sides all through these uh, 30 overs between both teams. Yes, Michal, it has, and now it's uh, pressure on uh, Tector and uh, the skipper. Balberni batting on 27 of 18. 8.4 over 78 for 3. The target is 185 runs. So they need to get going now because remember, the superstar of the Afghanistan cricket team is still not seen in action with the ball in hand, and that's Rashid Khan. Fielding at uh, long on, took a brilliant catch a couple of years, a couple of overs back, pardon me. So once he comes, it's going to be extremely difficult for Tector and Balboni to score at will. Making room for himself, uh, clearing the fence and will he get four runs for that? Yes, he does. Good striking there by Balboni. Skipper's inning expected from him. A much needed innings and quite similar to what Asghar Afghan did when Afghanistan were batting. It's counter-attack at its very best. This time, the placement brilliant all he had to do was just get the meat of the bat over there he's playing good cricket at the moment over extra cover that four Gulbadi Neb just getting a little bit of stick in this over short ball pulled away but straight to the field uh, single to end the ninth over Ireland 83 for three That's been the problem for Ireland. The starts have been there, but nobody has really carried his bat forward. Balverni has to do that for his side if they have to get to the target of uh, 185. Mohamed Nabi introduced into the attack. This will be an interesting equation. That's because we have Balverni at the other end who's uh, decided 
uh, to play his uh, shots in the middle. 77 matches, 69 wickets for uh, the senior player. Afghanistan is going to be Balbani on strike. Interesting to see. 83 for 3. The current run rate is 9.22. Required is 9.27. So going well so far are uh, Ireland. But 4 overs remaining of Rashid Khan. Tossed up on the back foot. Opens the face of the back. The sweeper covers. Gets the run. And this is where the middle order will be tested for Ireland. It's their middle order that's been found wanting in this T20 series. They've lacked that kind of application and strength to bat through situations. And this is where Balburni will say, boys, come on, we need to raise the game. Oh, beaten. No slip, of course, at this stage. The short third fielder can get a run. So steady start to this over. Nice tossed up delivery there. Just going with the arm this time. The batsman playing for the turn. Getting a thick outside edge. Very wily customer, Mohammad Nabi. In the back foot, it cuts it. Big task for the field at sweeper covers. Oh, there's an error. Red error in the field by Afghanistan. And that's easy for, for Balboni. That's Hazrat Zarzai, not the most uh, fittest of cricketers in the Afghanistan side. And that reaction by Mohammad Nabi said it all after that. This should have been stopped. And this should have been only two runs. Look at that. Quite a lazy effort there for a youngster. Once again, you just get the impression that these need to be stopped at this level. And instantly, he's been uh, brought in the 30-yard circle. A misfield and uh, change in the field. Off the back foot cut again. The ball is following him, isn't it? But this time around, feels it well. Balburni's body language indicating he's looking for that big hit. This time ball quicker down the leg side, a half-hearted appeal. Very smart bowling, they're very smart bowling. Mohamed Nabi just send the arm ball. But they're just drifting down leg. Taking room for himself, cut away again to the field that sweeper covers. That'll be a single to end the 10th over. Ireland are 90 for 3. And in comes the champion, Rashid Khan, introduced in the 11th over. Much like in the last game, he comes after the first 10 overs. And how crucial is this going to be for Ireland as well? The Rashid Khan threat. Look at that career best. 5 for 3, an economy for a leg spinner. Sometimes he bowls in the power play as well to be 6.1 for an average of 12.34. Yes, the top ranker in... Uh, the ICC T20 international rankings is uh, Rashid Khan to the Irish skipper Balbani batting on 30 of 25 what an exciting contest oh, Rashid, this promises Rashid. to be Rashid Khan to Andy Balbani wrong one straight up but uh, nicely played away to the leg side but the skipper gets a run it's so difficult to pick Rashid Khan he varies his pace and length with that wrong one coming in quicker sometime coming in slower just keeping the batsman guessing. And this will be a very, very big ask for youngsters like Tector and the ones to follow to wade away the Rashid Khan threat that I call. Five. Off the back foot. He has just been cautious. Is uh, the youngster Tector there? And this will not disturb Afghanistan, let me tell you, these singles. They'll be more than happy conceding them what an asset Rashid Khan 
brilliant fielder, an evolving batsman and a match-winning bowler. Oh, oh sharp turn there, turn and bounce, surprising Balboni. A smile on his face, but that's the magic of Rashid Khan. Just look at the reaction of the captain as well, island captain batting out there. Looking to cut, but the fielder gets a hand on it. That'll just be a run. Slightly wider this time, and will pace him part on that. Just trying to get past both those fielders. Shot third man and backward point, or should I say deep point and backward point. Tector, what does he have in his repertoire? Oh, yes, nicely played there. Wrong one again. It'll just be a run. So being uh, extremely cautious of uh, Rashid Khan's first over. With three more two overs to go. Rashid Khan, there's a good partnership right now. 39 of 25 balls between uh, Tekta and Balboni. Once again, a tossed up delivery playing on the back foot. Will the chance for a second? They'll have to settle for a one. 11 overs completed, it's 95 for 3. When it was 95 for 3. Required run rate is 10 runs per over now in the remaining 9 overs. Big task now for Balboni and Tector. And this is where Afghanistan accelerated. After the 10 overs, is where they changed gears. And this is where maybe Ireland also need to come out with a plan. Because these singles will only mount to that asking rate of theirs. Again, cuts it, but uh, that'll just be a run. Afghanistan won't have a problem with that. But Ireland, they need to get much more than uh, those ones and twos. At least one big hit in the over. The quadrant rate was 10 at the start of the over, has uh, increased to 10.15 now. Balboni batting on 42. For the big hit, swept away. Field is placed. Just a run. It's a good partnership brewing in the middle, but it's coming at a very conservative pace this time, trying to sweep it from the middle stump. Nice. Nicely bowled once again. A single down to long gone. He's taking those singles. Uh, is Tector and Balvani. Tector batting on 16 of 12. A strike rate more than 100 runs per 100. But uh, they need to go at a better rate now. Required is 10.32. Making room for himself. But good bowling there by the experienced Nabi following him. Good running between the wickets. Good early call by Tector. And converting that uh, single into two runs. But still, it's just... Uh, Six runs that they've got in this over. They've done well to rotate the strike and uh, they have uh, converted uh, those singles into doubles sometime and they've ran really hard. Only room for himself in the block hole. Dot ball, ball to end the 12th over. Island are 101 for three. Shit! 
Well, the partnership is, is developing, they're growing now 46 of 32, recovering really well. This is the time to strike for Afghanistan, 101 for three. They're placed well. This time getting the inside edge, Hamid Hassan in the comment box. Hamid, how do you read the situation? Well, the wicket's in hands for Ireland. There's a possibility because the captain is there, Balburni. Just to bat for long. But other end, don't forget. Mr. Changer, Rashid Khan. Ranked number one in the world in T20 cricket. But he's a bowler all the time looking for a wicket. If you don't give him a wicket, he will get frustrated and will concede some runs as well. So he will try everything to get a wicket to break this partnership. Not quite timing it. The wrong one on that occasion, but he's 48 of, uh, 49 of 35. This has been a very good partnership. Rashid Khan, captain expects a wicket from him. Look at this one, the wrong one that comes quickly in. He dismissed him in a similar fashion in the previous match. And sweeps top edge. The fielder takes the catch on the boundary. What a brilliant catch. Samuel Shinwari. Rashid Khan has struck and struck at the right moment. Mr. Changer got a wicket, got his man. Andy Balboni has to depart. And what a catch from Samuel Shinwari. Absolutely brilliant. A little bit unbalanced, but he managed to grab the ball. And in the end for Island skipper. So he got out for 46 of just 35 deliveries. Ireland 104 for four. Islamic Bank of Afghanistan Cup 2020, second T20 of three match series here at the Greater Noida Ground. Varkan Tucker, at the age of 23, was part of the Ireland Wolves traveling to South Africa to play against Namibia in five T20s. He scored a lot of runs there. This time, times it through the offside. So, Tucker is on to 18. Tucker is on not, but a huge wicket, always huge wicket. Andy Bulburney, who was pitching his inning really well. Look at this one, the quick. He's getting the top edge, and it was a sensational catch from Shin Samuel Shinwari. So Rashid Khan, once again, in the context of the game, they needed a wicket, and Rashid Khan has provided them with. It's 104 for four after 13 overs. Mujib was very expensive in the first T20 international, but not in the second, dismissing both the openers for 12 and 19 relatively cheaply, and no wonder. They are four wickets down for 104, all key batsmen back in the pavilion. Mohamed Nabi, the senior campaigner. Over the years, he's been able to slow up the things and take those important wickets. Is in action now from the far end. Hector intact. Oh. Can they become protector for Ireland to change and save the game to level the series? Ireland still need 11.85 runs per over. Such a huge amount of runs. When you're facing bowlers like Rashid, Nabi, or Mujib, it's not easy. Well, Hamid required it, touching 12, exactly 12 now. 12 runs per over, it means that they need two boundaries from the over. And Nabi is someone who is very, very intelligent, clever cricketer. 
and uh, he knows how to prize out a wicket in these kind of situations. Oh, reverse attempted, but not quite getting the timing on that occasion. The experience, the experience of playing leagues around the world and also cricket for Afghanistan for many years. Absolutely, no doubt. He has a big role in Afghanistan rise of cricket from beginning since 2003-04. We play all the way together. Asghar Afghan, Sami, Mohammad Nabi is the most senior player. We play first for Afghanistan and then rest of the others we came later on. But this man is the one man army. A brilliant cricketer. Featured in a wonderful partnership oh, with Asghar Afghan. Once again, great delivery. No. Quicker one this time around, the variation not allowing the, the opportunity to find a boundary. They need at least two boundaries from the over Ireland. But uh, in the last couple of overs, they've been able to squeeze the Irish uh, batsmen from getting those much needed boundaries. 12.49 already the required rate. Can they find a boundary here? Goes for the sweep shot. And Mujib is there to prevent the ball to travel to the boundary. So 14 overs have been bowled. It's 109 for four. Tough going for Irish players. Well, Greater Noida is famous for tall buildings. Uh, it was there for Afghanistan in the last 10 overs or so, but not for Ireland. They're getting runs consistently, but in last three to four overs, they're putting the brakes on because of Rashid Khan. What a player, what a wonderful player over the years he has been and continuing to retain his form. Across formats, goes to different countries, but he's always consistent. We'll take a single here. Singles won't do it. Look at the commitment. Always 100% Hamid. No doubt all the time in the game. Bowling, batting. If it's fielding, you can see the commitment. The chase after ball. Eager to get the wicket for run out. Good effort from Rashid Khan. And in the last four years. Oh, oh again. A flying jump. Well, loudest cheer in the stadium. Look at the leg spinner. And look at this one. Flying. Frog. In action. Club it back this time. Tried his very best. Possible opportunity for Rashid Khan on the follow through. This is brilliant from Rashid Khan. From where will they find the boundaries? Was it an opportunity? Yeah, there was opportunity, clear run out. You can see the frustration of Rashid. In the last four years, he achieved the milestone of his career in such, in such a young age. And look at the run rate. Oh, this time Googly beats everyone, batsman and keeper. It won't be a boundary or not. Excellent effort from Shapur Zadran. So by runs, good effort from the senior Shapur Zadran. Was there an opportunity for the keeper there coming down the pitch? Saw the batsman coming through the googly. Oh, there was this opportunity, batsman way down the pitch. Remanullah Gurbaz or Shapur Zadran. It's pulling back. Was in contact with the rope. Not quite driven down the ground. A single, so good discipline. The boundary is hard to come by for... For Ireland, it's looking very difficult from this situation. They want to play through the overs of Rashid Khan without losing any wickets. But, but boundaries. Yeah, when Rashid came, everything's changed. Balberni gone, run stop. And runs are... Oh, oh that's a huge googly. Came back really sharply and it's just zipped in. What a delivery. I haven't seen that much spin so far. Even everybody's surprised. That's a good ball. So 15 overs gone. 
Ireland 1-1-4-4-4. A bit expensive in his first spell of two overs, going for 22. Ireland haven't won a match here against Afghanistan since 2013 in 2020 version of the game. Will the story continue? He's going to take a single here. Boundaries, boundaries keyword here. When you're thinking that there's a side Rashid, Nabi or Mujib, so you might be targeting someone else like a bowler like Kareem Janath or Shapur or Gulbadin, but they're also very experienced. They know how to control and read the situation. Sometimes it's cricket, you give runs, you save runs. But in the end, good effort from Afghanistan, a good comeback. They're defending the runs now. Is this the over? They are targeting, gets a slower bouncer. He hammered it to the fielder there on the boundary ropes. No, he can't take this one. The batsman will be through for two. Rashid Khan, the fielder there on the boundary ropes. Well, the action man, the changer, dropped the catch. Such a good hands he have. A slower bouncer, a top edge. A good bowling from Kareem. And you can see, many times he grabbed the ball. Very easy. A situation like this, you should need to take a catch. Boundary. And this time he plays straight to the fielder. And direct hit with just one stump visible. Will this be referred to the third umpire? Skipper is not happy with that. Azgar Afghan getting 49 with the bat in hand today in charge. The captain of the side with that throw with just one stump visible from the distance. I think the batsman might have reached there to the safety of the crease. How close was that, Amit? Well, we have to see for the replay and wait. Throw from Skipper, just one stop. Uh, he knew it. Asghar advanced straight away. That he made it. He's crowned. A good throw. So it'll be clearly not out. Another good slow delivery. The off cutters, the leg cutters, not giving pace to the batsmen to work with. Tough going for Ireland. Boundary is hard to come by, and it looks like the the Afghans are reaching towards that, that mark of registering a series victory. Last time around, Ireland was successful in beating Afghanistan was in 2013 in the World Cup qualifiers, but after that it's been a long, long wait for them to beat Afghanistan in T20 internationals. And this time fumble and a single. Yeah, it is a long time, almost seven years. They haven't beat Afghanistan in T20. Another fumble in fielding. We have seen this all day today from both sides. In T20 cricket, you have to be very smart and sharp. Anytime you can get a chance, just take him, run out. Improvise this time. Improvisation, helpfully success for Ireland batsmen in a boundary. Well, they waited for this opportunity for quite some time with that innovative shot over the top. 16 overs bowl, it's 124 for four. A nice little partnership brewing here between Tector and Tucker at the moment. But they'll need to take it forward as Mujibur Rahman comes into the attack. Another important phase in the match. 
A full toss in the air. Has he connected that well? Yes, he has. A good start to the 17th over. Tector gets the full toss. Uh, plays it straight over the bowler's head. Gets four runs. Oh, yes, and that's been the problem with Mujib. He's not been consistent in the series so far. He's uh, mixed it with some very ordinary bowling and some excellent bowling as well. And that's where he'll need to tighten things. This is a very important phase, as I mentioned. The game is hanging in the balance. Short ball, played on the offside. Is it in the gap? Has he connected that well? Good work by the fielder there. That's Kareem. Be two runs again for Hector. Looking good, Hector. Batting on the 31 of 26. Once again, hitting it in the gap towards extra cover. Nice fielding effort in the end. The slide so synonymous with world cricket today. Very close to the rope over there. Short ball pulled away and that's into the stands. Gets the six, Stector. Leaking runs in the 17th over. Half track on offer. I'm sure Tector's eyes would have lit up. All he had to do was just get back to ball over there and hit it over cow corner. Very poor bowling at the moment and uh, Afghanistan will need to tighten things. Oh, superb comeback that one. Super comeback. Tector absolute no idea where the ball was going. And that's what I was talking about. He mixes mediocrity with brilliance and that's what you see over here completely bamboozled the other batsman what a delivery he room for himself again a super delivery and that's a wicket yes he's missed it and once again Mujib what a comeback after being hit comes back and picks up the wicket that's Mujib Rehman's third wicket and just when it looked like he was struggling he gets an important breakthrough Quicker this time, on the off stump, batsman making room for himself, trying to play it on the offside. You miss, I hit. Important wicket here. Fifth wicket falls for Ireland, half the side in the dugout. Harry Tector walks back for 37 of 29, it's 136 for 5 after 16.5 overs. Simi Singh uh, is the new man in. 23 matches, 182 runs, 57 is his best. T20 international, international career. Quite a task on him now. Making room for himself, not able to connect. Brilliant over oh, wow. by Muji. More importantly, he's picked up a wicket of Harry Tector. 17 overs, Ireland are 136 for 5. Shapur Zadran uh, being introduced into the attack, but what a bowling performance has been by Mujib getting Paul Sterling and Kevin O'Brien first up, and now the much needed breakthrough. A partnership that are looking threatening between. Uh, Tector and Tucker, and that's when Mujib strikes as well. 136 for 5, 2 was remaining for uh, Shapur, 1 remaining for uh, Rashid, and that should be it. It seems going for the reverse sweep is uh, Tucker not connecting. Smiles on the faces of uh, the Afghanistan players. Do not expect that one from Tucker. That did get a glove as well on his way to the wicket keeper. That was an off cutter. Oh, almost got that leg stump as well. Touch and go cricket over here. 17.29 the required run rate. Gettable in this format. But with an over remaining for Ashit Khan. Just looks difficult right now for Ireland. 
Nicely hit there. Oh, the field right long off, completely missing the sight of that one. And thus, that's four runs for Tucker. Oh, yes, completely blinded over there. Was that a brain fade moment for the fielder at long on? Or should I say long off? But a much needed four. So Ireland not throwing in the towel yet. They are fighting back and uh, just raising unlikely hope for their fans of for a comeback victory. But at the moment, in the driver's seat is Afghanistan. After the reverse sweep attempt came, comes the straight drive, gets him four runs. Short ball pulled away. The fielder at long on. Are they looking for the second run? No nice. chance there. Just a run required. Run rate is at 17.6 now. Oh, the asking rate is just climbing and climbing. Can Simi Singh uh, provide some hope over here? What a, what a match this has been so far. Ireland calling the shots in the first 10 overs of this match. Then Afghanistan led by Asghar Afghan leading that fight back, taking them to 184. And then after that, they've had a stronghold on the game. Pulling down the wicket into him. Played with the, on the leg side. Good work there. That'll be two runs. Cold running between the wickets. Every fielding effort has been cheered for. That's because it's a packed stadium as far as Afghanistan fans are concerned. Once again, just using the depth of the crease and playing it finer. Mujibur Rahman with a diving effort. And look at the wicket keeper. Inspired by one gentleman in world cricket who's brought in this kind of a dismissal. That we talk about. Mahindra Singh Dhoni, Mark Boucher, they all adopt this kind of strategy to get a deflection of your glove of the ball onto the wickets. The asking rate is 18 and the singles won't help their cause. Just a run for Simi Singh. You talk about experience, Chaitanya. Look at Shapur Zadran. Predominantly, all his deliveries have been cutters. He's been rolling his fingers over them, taking the pace of it, so that the batsmen don't get the ball onto the bat for that big hit. 144 for 5, Simi Singh 3, Tucker fighting a battle right now. Usman Ghani, Navin Ulhaq sitting on the bench, a very strong bench strength. In the slot, in the air, fielder, easy catch eventually for Nabi. And uh, Tucker will have to walk back, big wicket for Shapur. And that's been the story for Ireland in the series. Their middle order has faltered. They have not stood the test. Another off cutter, another slow delivery, taking the pace off it. Mohamed Nabi saying thank you very much. I'll accept that with both hands. Shapur Zadran, his comeback has been good in this series. Another wicket departs. Tucker walks back to the dugout. 16 in only 14 deliveries. It's 144 for 6 after 18 overs. Tucker for 16. Rashid Khan with uh, the penultimate over. Over number 19. Starts by conceding uh, a run. Never easy to get rid of uh, Rashid Khan in such situations Again? with asking rate is high and wickets are falling at the other end. Meanwhile, uh, George Dockrell is the new man in. Has a wealth of experience. But at this point in time, He'll need more than that. He'll need some luck as well. Going for the big hit. He's connected well. A brilliant attempt by the fielder at long off. But uh, that's Kareem, the fielder. But he's not able to stop that. Four runs. Good way to get off the mark for George Dockerell. Oh, yes. This time, just deciding to go full throttle. That should have been taken a half chance. But in such situations and at such level, you need to grab these. So, George Dockerell has come. And his very first ball, he's dispatched that. 
making room for himself. Wrong one there. He can get to a one big hit off for Rashid Khan, but then he comes back. Chance to run out. Good running between the wickets there. Helter skelter everywhere at this point in time, but we expect Rashid Khan to bowl more wrong ones at this point in time. Simply because he knows that the batsmen are going for broke. Another good fielding effort. I just like the way Afghanistan have played their cricket today. It's been fearless, it's been ruthless. Again off the back foot played uh, to Kareem. That will just be a run again. At this stage, Afghanistan were 157 for 4. But remember, the last over, he lit 24 runs. So now, one of them, Simi Singh or George Dockrell, will uh, need to do something miraculous. Comes down the track, is Simi Singh, connects well, and he gets uh, the desired result for that. Six runs. Hi and handsome. The fight is on as far as Ireland are concerned. They are going for everything. And this intent and execution is a perfect reply to Afghanistan's discipline as well. Once again, looks to go big but sweeps it towards uh, deep square leg for a single. So this has been uh, a good over. Nevertheless, uh, after 19, it's 159 for six. Then 159 for 6. 26 required now of the last 6. Afghanistan of the last over scored 24 runs. Shapur Zadran to Simi Singh batting on 11 of 6. It's the series on the line here. Victory for Afghanistan means the IBA Cup is with, with them. If Ireland wins, the 30-20 will be the final. But as of now, it looks like Afghanistan, the clear favourites. Islamic Bank of Afghanistan T20 series. And the message over here is peace all over. A wonderful message and a much needed one as well. That should spread across the globe. First ball of the last over it starts with a run looking for the second one, but uh, straight to the fielder there. Just one run. Brilliant start. The last over by Shapur Zadran. Afghanistan looking good to clinch the series and take an unassailable 2 0 lead in the three match T20I series. And uh, largely, it's been an all round effort by them batting, bowling, fielding, catching. They've been the better side on display. Even as we have another five deliveries to confirm the result in this game, Ireland will be eager to make it count in this last five deliveries. 160 for 6. Continuing around the wicket. Bouncer. Played on to the leg side. Simple work for Mujib. That'll just be a run again. Score moves on to 161. The required run rate reads at 36. Looking difficult now for uh, Ireland. Simissing batting on 12 of 7. It's been a long time since Ireland have defeated Afghanistan in this format. A couple of changes in the field there. Interesting to see that. The sweeper covers uh, long off, long on. Deep mid wicket. Deep backward square leg. The fielder is outside the 30 yard circle. Well bowled there. Simi Singh not able to get any kind of connection. And the Afghanistan fans are uh, pleased. They know the result now. And they know that uh, their team has, has almost won the IBA Cup. Oh yes, another slow off cut outside the off stump. Sensing the batsman will be st stepping down. Shapur bringing in all his experience over here. But what a performance has been by Afghanistan. And the crowd delighted as well. Coming out in large numbers to support their boys. Oh. 
Another shot delivery goes big towards Cow Corner region. A single Rashid Khan over there with the ball. You can't keep him out of action. And look at that throw right over the stumps. He is one man who really inspires in the middle. And these gentlemen, the crowd out here, are there because they want to see their stars perform in the middle. Absolutely. They are here in big numbers because the superstars of Afghanistan are performing. And that's one of them. The superstar plays T20 cricket across the world. The superstar, leg spinner Rashid Khan. In the meanwhile, Shapur Zadran has also done well. He's given away only four runs. In the first four delivery, so one in the block hole. Will that be two runs? Denied. That will just be a run direct hit. And it's been referred to the TV umpire. Review for run out. Very nicely fielded there by Mohammad Nabi. He had a good day with the bat and the ball as well. And now a direct hit from long on. Okay then. Batsman well and truly inside. But a direct hit is something the empires also don't want to mess around with. Just refer it. That's because even a split uh, milli meter can uh, create a difference with a direct hit. So just the final delivery on offer as uh, Afghanistan look good to clinch this uh, IBA T20 International Series. So we're saying batting on 13 of 9, 163 the score. It's still required 22 runs off the last ball. It's been a clinical performance by Afghanistan. Good batting, good comeback in the second half of their innings. And look at that. Cricket Chacha. Afghan flag flying high here in Greater Noida. A lot of fans supporting. Remember the IBA Cup is hashtag peace all over. Hashtag peace for all. Last ball of uh, the second T20 international in the block hole. Dot ball. And that is game set match. Game set series for Afghanistan. And they have been clinical and comprehensive in their performances all through the two T20 internationals. That's Captain Asghar Afghan, led from the front with a very fine, blistering 49 runs as teams exchange pleasantries and handshakes. It's the Afghan crowd who look happy, delighted and it's euphoria all over. But credit has to be given to Afghan and his boys for just going out there and dishing out a clinical and a professional performance with bat ball and in the field Shamir Asinwari got a thousand T20 international runs in the last game they're a good side they're gelling well they're coming together well and we can only watch out for bigger games from them in the coming days absolutely they've already qualified for the T20 World Cup in Australia Ireland have a tough road now they've lost the series but one more match to go remember they've played well in bits and pieces but uh, at the crunch moments they've failed to deliver but not this man the skipper of Afghanistan, Asghar Afghan, what an innings he played today. And at the Greater Noida Sports Complex, at the IBA Cup, Ireland have been beaten by Afghanistan. Paul Sterling 12, Kevin O'Brien 19, the openers could not get big runs. Balboni tried to play the skipper's inning with 46 runs, but failed to do so. Tekta with 5.37, Singh and Tokrel remaining not out for 13 and 9. The partnerships have been an issue for them. They never got going. Just one considerable one between Tector and Balberni of 49 and 36. Tector and uh, Tucker as well were looking good for 32. But after that, it's just been a story where they've just failed to come together as a team in the middle overs. And the middle order has not stood up to the challenge as well as Afghanistan kept picking up wickets at regular intervals to ensure that uh, they win this contest and win the series as well. Three wickets for uh, Mujib, considering 38 runs. A wicket for Shapur Zadran, Naeb, and Rashid. Nabi was uh, economically economical bowling. Three overs, just considering 18 runs. Rashid is always uh, never a surprise. But Mujib was the pick of the bowlers, picking up three wickets for 38 runs. Right then, the IBA Cup 2020 second T20 International. Afghanistan winning the toss, selecting to bat first, getting 184 runs and the loss of uh, four wickets. Afghan 49 of 28 runs. 
could pass 35 of 30 and while chasing Ireland could manage 163 for the loss of 6 wickets Mujib picking up 3 wickets and uh, with the score of Balboni getting 46 runs and uh, Tekta scoring 37 eventually Afghanistan winning by 21 runs and clinching the IBA Cup 2020 series we'll be back after a short break Check, check, hello, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, sir. Hello, 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 check, check, hello, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Huh? की तरफ अरे मैंने तेरे को बोला वो लोग खेलने आ रहे हैं तेरे को समझ में नहीं आता मैं तेरे को क्या बोला चार बजे मेरे वो बंदे खेलने आ रहे हैं अभी तू गिला क्यों किया तूने उसको तो अभी रहने दो अभी अभी वो अभी वो लोग खेलेंगे उनको खेलने दो कुछ नहीं कर सकता मैं संडे को हर संडे को ये लोग खेलने वाले हैं समझ के रख एक फोटो क्लिक करके भेज कितना गिला है और उस तरफ वो लड़की खेलने के लिए आ रही है उनको पिच मत देना उनको ड्रिल्स के लिए उधर वो जगह दे देना ठीक है
then the IBA Cup 2020 hashtag peace all over hashtag peace for all has been won by Afghanistan but while chasing 185 Ireland could manage 163 runs Paul Sterling 12 runs Kevin O'Brien 19 and the man with the runs was Balwan he's scoring 46 oh yes in the chase Ireland came with a lot of intent Paul Sterling and Kevin O'Brien deciding to go forward and play their brand of cricket they got going but once again the starts were not converted they brought in a lot of shots first up and uh, went forward with their strokes of quite a few down the ground. And it was their partnership that are looking threatening, not before Mujibur Rehman decided to come forward and attack as well. Had a good day. Catch it! This was a very, very poor hit and uh, it was a very, very nice uh, catch taken over there. A little bit of juggle here and there, but that was uh, completed very nicely. Uh, yes, uh, the Irish batsman tried to come back. Paul Sterling tried to make those runs, uh, get those quick ones and twos. Going for those big hits. Good feeling uh, as well by Afghanistan. And that was one of them a good catch, an easy catch by the standards of uh, the level of cricket. Paul Sterling also missing out. Kevin O'Brien missing out. Paul Sterling missing out. And the only one who was remaining that was uh, Andrew Balburnie. Tried uh, to get those runs, scored 46. A quick fire 46. Uh, it was looking as if he could take his team home, but uh, he failed in his attempt. He was scoring it nice and big in the meanwhile. Good feeling by uh, Rashid Khan, the superstar. As soon as he came into bowling, things uh, kind of uh, yeah. took a big turn. Getting those uh, fours yeah. in the gaps. Oh yes, the problem lied in the middle order once again. They took their chances, they played some aerial shots, they cleared the ropes too. But each time they looked threatening, they lost a wicket and that was the concern for them. They played on both sides of the wickets. Yeah. Mohamed Nabi then brought into the attack. Runs came in thick and fast, some ordinary fielding effort as well. Zazai over there, letting this one go. And then the moment this man came, Rashid Khan, he got that wicket. Very nice take, uh, catch taken by Shamiul Ashinwari over there. Diving to his left as the crowd cheered on their boys. Another very good fielding effort here by Afghanistan as Ireland kept fighting in with uh, their performances. That catch, uh, 9 out of 10 times Rashid Khan would have taken. Some improvisation, some innovation over here as we so often see in T20 cricket as Ireland kept fighting back. But uh, their fight back came a little too late in the day as uh, Afghanistan kept pegging back and getting wickets. Mujibur this time getting uh, another wicket of Taka over there. And that's been the story for Ireland in the series. Oh yes, uh, wonderful work by Mujibur Rahman. He was getting hit, but he was Adrian! coming back and taking those wickets. Rare errors in the field, but it was also good bowling by Shahpur Zadran. Left arm, medium pacer, coming in and uh, picking up wickets. There's always no question about Rashid Khan, but he was hit for a couple of uh, big hits by Sunny Singh. The four followed by a big hit that went all the way. But good comeback by Shapur Zadran and a comfortable victory eventually for Afghanistan. Yeah, good support always for Afghanistan across the world wherever they play. That's the match summary. Afghanistan won the toss to select to bat first. 184 for four. And while chasing 185, Ireland could manage 163 runs. 46 for Balboni, three wickets for Mujib, a wicket apiece for Naib, Shapur, Rashid. Afghanistan won by 21 runs. Let's head over so warm the first match presentation, post -presentation with of the IBA G20 Ajay Cup. We thank all the partners and sponsors for contributing to the event. In the presentation party, I have a few guests with me. To my left, I have first of all Mr. Luthfula Stanikzai, CEO ACB, Mr. Salim Rahimi. Chief Marketing Officer, Islamic Bank of Afghanistan, Mr. Ajmal Mohammed, First Secretary, Embassy of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan in India. First, I'd like to invite the losing captain for this game, Andrew Belberni. Please come forward for a chat. Andrew, uh, the last eight overs, you conceded 100 runs. Do you think the, the game went away from there? Yeah, look, we started pretty well. I thought we, we held them quite well. They're obviously a dangerous side, particularly in that power play. But it's uh, against a team like Afghanistan, you've got to be good for 20 overs to, to hopefully get a good result. Yeah, even the start uh, for you with the bat was pretty decent, but you lost wickets midway through. Yeah, we, we tend to start quite well, usually in, our, in T20 internationals. It's just getting that right balance in the middle to, to get us over the line in, in tight games. You lost the series, but what are the learnings uh, from the two games you've played so far? 
I think you're always learning when you're playing such quality bowlers uh, regularly. Um, you're learning about yourself and, and how you adapt in different situations. The series is now gone and um, we've got to focus on the third T20I. It's a big T20 year, obviously, um, and we're going to be going in there looking for the win. All the best. Hard luck. And now I invite uh, the stylish player of the match, and that's the Afghanistan skipper, Asghar Afghan. 49 of 28 deliveries, and he'll receive a check of Afghani 30,000 from Mr. Ajmal Mohammed. Asghar Afghan, what a knock from him, the skipper. Left from the front today. And now for the other Czech represented man of the match for this game, Mujib Zadran, three wickets for 38. And Mr. Salim Rahimi will present the check of uh, Afghani 30,000 to him. And also uh, the trophy by Mr. Stanikzai, the man of the match trophy to uh, Mujib Zadran. What an impressive performance by him. Fantastic performance, picked up those important wickets of both the openers as well. And now I invite uh, Mr. Asghar Afghan for a few words. The winning captain and also has won the series today. 2-0 leading uh, Afghanistan. What a performance. Uh, Bismillah Rahman. First off, uh, thanks really much. Yalla, uh, win the game because for the series very important uh, today, especially uh, the openers partnership very well because we got uh, today's a little bit different because they have some double budgets. Well, we are happy to win the game. But Asghar, your form with the bat, it was tremendous, some lusty hitting coming from your blade. Yeah, when you when we are, we are set, you know our strength because uh, some, first of all, uh, very important, we are uh, uh, some strike rotate and we take some time and that's why after in we know our, uh, we are, you know our, our death of rate, especially in our hitting. Asghar, last eight overs, 100 runs. Now that's a big achievement, you know, the way you were striking, your, uh, you know, all, uh, middle order batsman as well. There was some tremendous striking from uh, your team. Yeah, today the last especially especially played a little bit slow because we know the ball is not uh, very good, uh, good come for bad. That's why you know uh, we uh, take some uh, we can, uh, and going for death some. We know our strength on the uh, death because we know some in the end Nabi, Najib and Gulba Karim we have also bats because that's why we take some time and uh, target our death balls. And also with the ball, your spinners of course, you know Mujib, the way you bowled, picking up three wickets, Rashid as well, picking up a few wickets and the way you bowled in the latter 10 uh, overs, you know, the, after the 11th over. Yeah, because uh, Rashid, uh, when the ball is a bit old, because Rashid is good for old bowling, especially and especially in the top of the bowling, uh, Mujib. That's why we know our combination. I mean, uh, that's why we win some uh, put target, push some pressure on batsman and the end because we know Rashid they have a good bowling and uh, nowadays very uh, good in form. Agar, you won the series now. You're leading 2-0. How are you looking at the last game? Yeah, uh, we are. Uh, we are. We are lots of young uh, going. Uh, uh, think positive because playing the every game is a very important game for us and especially the last of dear ajat man tasura takna polodam tashvikda bm tasur dum bara kiwe all the best well done Thank you to you much. and your boys so that was gar afghan the afghan skipper and it's uh, back to the com box yes uh, thank you ajay as gar afghan uh, Pretty pleased uh, with the performance. In the meanwhile, uh, the 3020 International will see you day after tomorrow, 10th of March at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, IST. And that's the last match of the IBA Cup 2020. Afghanistan versus Ireland. That's it from us in the Combox. Thank you for watching.